As the team moves forward into the next stage of events, after inquiring about the situation at hand, Nikolai uh, made advancements towards his endeavors and strides and, well, relationship issues. Uh, things aren't exactly the best, but they are being worked through, and honestly, that is the best most of us can do sometimes. Through it all, oh, so more or less uh, angered uh, Jillian's father. Whether or not they know it, it's hard to tell. But along the way, while they were discussing things, they were attacked by unknown assailants. Uh, soon enough, they were almost downed. Uh, Julian was thankfully enough spared, but, uh, thanks to Nikolai, and soon enough, since guards were heading towards that direction, they decided to leave as the numbers were less fortuitous on their end. So they split up into the streets. Nikolai, seeing that Julian was okay, or at least she said she was okay, sprang up into the air with his wings and, uh, with the power of the demonic energy inside him, decided to rain down on one of them, mainly the one with the scale-like structure to their skin, letting the other one go away. Soon enough, catching to the other one, they used their force, full magic, aka the, uh, force cube, to rein that individual in as long as <laughs> with themselves, allowing no material, well, individual to go through. However, as one-to-one -one combat is very good for, let's call them rogues, assassins, or whatever this man is, Nikolai was almost fell down. However, the individual is also hurt. It's not as if they didn't do anything, but unfortunately, the numbers weren't on his end. Going almost down and catatonic, they just released the demonic energy inside them, allowing it to take over, giving them a bit of more strength and a little bit more willpower. However, still soon enough, the you were still pretty close to being brought all the way down. The sleep spell that didn't fully interact, well, just damaging you enough was enough to bring you down. And well, that happened. All the while, we go to the other team where they are currently adventuring towards the city. I know where it was currently happening. Uh, finishing up the deal that Dust had made, you acquire the blade and presented it to them. Transaction complete, they just walked away. And, you know, they are not exactly the best person, so wanting to, you know, at the very least not give them more power, decided to bring them down. But since most of their power was drawn out, other than the items they might have had, uh, they <laughs> went down pretty easily. But as one is to do when adventuring on a road, there were a number of people that might have seen you, and, well, some of them did. Marauders came too, and, well, uh, demanded, I wouldn't say asked, demanded, half or <laughs> you leave everything, and then you just die. It's entirely up to you what you chose, but you decided violence was generally the answer. They did attack first, though, so that's more than fair and justified. Killing the commander, soon enough, everyone that was still alive failed. Uh, but not wanting that to happen, you killed anyone you could see. You're still not sure if there were people that were hiding, that never got to go because they were hiding. Uh, I am telling you that there pretending were people that were hiding. That being the case, though, you took them down, acquired the things that Bentar had on them, and then are heading towards the city, all the while giving a very hasty burial towards the individuals that attacked you and the man you... I wouldn't say killed. It was more like murder, because you did plan it. <laughs> uh, but you are now in the city five turns before you can get to Nikolai. And Jillian is two turns away. That is where we left off, with Nikolai unconscious, surrounded by a wall of force that isn't going down until seven turns from now. That is correct. <laughs> I mean, how many turns did it take us to fight? Uh, I think three. There, there was three. That's what I thought, yeah. Because there there was some conversation within it before you guys started fighting, so... I mean, it's I don't know how It's a medical much... conversation. I am going to say okay. it's a medical conversation. Okay. Yeah. So, um... 
Uh, at the very no, least, I'm... it would take up a round if we wanted to go with that way. So making it okay, six sure. turns. So that was... So the barrier is living matter cannot, can't pass through the barrier. Uh, yeah. So, and that, that includes anything that is alive and not like if you threw like a tree branch in it that was dead. Like you just, a, or like, what about like an axe? If you threw an axe through it, would the axe go through it? Uh, let me reread that. Let's see. I don't believe it would, though. Like if it had a wooden handle? No, I mean like in general. Hmm. Let's see. Keep a force. And what side did you use? Three. Living matter can't pass through the barrier. Let's see here. Uh, Gases, wind, and fog can't pass through the barrier. Nothing living... Non-living matter can't pass through the barrier. Wasps, floors, and ceilings aren't pass through in any direction. You living missed a fo force above that, by the way. Effects. Can't pass through the barrier. Nothing can pass through the barrier. Okay, based on the way it's worded, I think, like, weapons and stuff can still technically go through. Okay, or like, spells. Yeah, or spells. Because uh, gotcha. four is spell effects. So I think it's basically like people can't go through it. Yes, that sounds right. If they're alive. Yeah. I think anything that's still producing uh, cellular division, which would be people, plants, animals, and things of that nature, wouldn't be able to gotcha. go through it. Uh, okay. But I think like a sword could kind of go through, but not all the way, because, you know, hand... Uh, yeah, but if you threw something like a javelin or like shoot an arrow. Yeah. Uh, gotcha. 15 foot cube. I think it's a little bit bigger than this. It's centered on me. Yeah. Okay. What layer was... It's not on that one. Oops. That's not the right tool. With that that's fine i just can't find the green cube on my end oh which is weird yeah i don't there, i you, see it you, yeah in all my blindness okay there we go <laughs> nice i went literally through all of them twice and eventually it worked okay uh <laughs> yeah uh, 15 by 15, I think that is correct. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, that is annoying. Uh, but yeah, it should be correct. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna bring in the rest of the team here. They're not here until five turns, but, you know, might as well just okay. give you a vision of them. Visual, I meant visual, but yeah. Anyways. Uh, going down the last things you did here was the man simply stating, uh, you really weren't the one we were targeting, but <laughs> I suppose we didn't harm them with you in mind as you went down. Two turns later, you don't really know what's happening. And, well, this next scene plays out. Jillian and a few guards are running in tow. There are some guards that split off to, like, look for other individuals that might be in the area. Uh, and some guards that went up to the roof for the one dead person there. Uh, so right now, she only has, like, a platoon of maybe five people with her. Hmm. Uh, she comes into the area and she notices that, well, you and this individual are in a force cage. He seems to have taken some things off of you, but you're not entirely sure what it is because you're unconscious. Okay. Uh, but I will tell you your pockets are lighter. Okay. Uh, Jillian comes into the area, crossbow ready, so are the other five guards behind her. She 
basically gives this man the rights and the man simply uh, grabs onto your arm and like drags you up a uh, half body up while the other half is like on the ground uh, like a ragdoll Jillian simply then states look I don't really know what you're after but come out quietly and we can discuss things this man then simply states <laughs> what if I could he presses on the wall but unfortunately I can't get out your I don't really know what he is to you. the details do state significant to other but I eh, you could do better she then states I won't ask you again yes I see that that being the case though I can always just murder this man simple enough unconscious practically dead already you can take the shot he then puts half your body in front of him but you could always risk his life entirely up to you millionaire is smarter than this <laughs> uh with the way it seems and the way she's pressed the sphere he is more or less trying to attempt to convince her that nothing can get through so she's gonna roll insight against his dc 15. Mm. And since Jillian is now currently active as an NPC, you might as well show you her role. Okay. Come on, naturally. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. No. 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 She also had I a plus five that. though. I can't do anything. <laughs> no. <Yeah>. Like <sighs> for real though, she's a very good cop. Unfortunately, I rolled below the normal. <laughs> So not really sure if, you know, a shot would go through. Uh, she then states, All right, we can calm this down. We no need for any violence. Do you, mind, do you mind if one of my officers examines the wall? Be my guest. Although if you try anything, I will cut off this man's arm or leg or face. But I'll save the face for last. I wouldn't want you to look at anything indecent. One of the guards does come forwards and like presses her hand, uh, like weapons non drawn, hands up, pushes his hand against the wall, and it does seem to be solid. According to, well, from their understanding, it's solid. Nothing can get through. He backs up, uh, ending that round. So six turns later. So not six, sorry, not six turns later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ending that turn. Uh, okay. Your f allies are now one turn away based off of my math. Okay. So and this is turn. What, tur what, how many turns is the cube been active now? Uh, two turns did pass, and then this last one. So that would be three turns total. Uh, your friends are one turn away, and Jillian and her squad have one turn before any other backup arrives. Which is so you know. that. So cube turn six. Sure. Okay. Uh, Jillian then simply states, all right, what do you want? What are your man, uh, demands? We'll see to it that you get out of town as safely as possible, so long as there's no one in danger. Oh, no, that's really not really an issue here. My job is to make you feel pain or to kill you. You do realize your family predicament. My plan, goal, ambition... It is to make sure you suffer, as my family did to your father. He was bringing out more and more of his men out into the streets, keeping an eye on things a little bit more recently in these last couple of weeks. And well, with so much surveillance, we can't exactly do anything now, can we? We had an understanding before. I'm not sure what upset dear old daddy but I want to make it clear to his family to his friends and to looks towards Nikolai those connected you make us suffer so we have to make you suffer and if I die in this well as long as I fulfill my job <laughs> well then I fulfilled my job now didn't I I not get to make any saves. That is true. Go ahead and roll me death saves. 
<laughs> Thank you. Why? Uh, <laughs> go ahead because, and throw me uh, I mean, two death uh, saves before this. He didn't attack me after the fact, right? No, he like uh, strip you of things and then potentially he could, you know, if you make any emotions, he might kill you. I said, "Why? Like, I'm getting my putting myself in a bad situation." Why? Yeah. <laughs> because it's the rules. Go ahead and roll two dead you know saves. Good <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, where's the? Oh, there's the death saves. It's honestly Quickie. just a d20. Okay, 15. that's one pass. Uh, another pass, which is good. And after this turn ends, you will have to roll another one. Gotcha. And honestly, if you like wake up, he will might just stab you. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, it makes sense, right? Yeah. Uh, if you well, if if you get all three saves, if you succeed all three saves, he stabilizes still, and it's like uncovers. Yeah, yeah. You stabilize. You just don't wake up. Yeah, unless I get a twenty. Yeah, that's true. But like, he has you in hand. Like, basically, if he gets to do anything, he can basically do anything. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Like, if anything changes or alters this air quotes plan or deal, he will probably just try to murder you. Or, at the very least, do mm -hmm. very violent harm to you. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think... Okay. I, I don't... I mean, I'm not trying to make an argument here, but Jillian has eyes. So, I mean, she would see that there's some kind of dark presence around me, or at least lingering from me, that happened for this guy and i wouldn't be dumb enough to trap myself in here not to have the idea that he wouldn't want to not let him get away so i wonder if jillian i'm thinking if jillian's a smart cop she would know the reason why i trapped him in here there was a reason why i trapped him in here and not for him to just bargain himself out yeah part of the negotiation skill or at least part of you know being a uh blanking on the word it's basically when you talk to someone that is part of this I know the word. I've seen plenty of cop movies. Uh, interrogation? Interrogation. No, not interrogation. Ah. It's when, like, uh, you're uh, talking someone uh, to come. Uh, oh, like, coaxing. Co coaxing? No, I think or... there's What? A, there's a specific label for it, but I'm just going to say the negotiator, whatever. And part of negotiating these type of things is to make sure that other teams have a chance to surround the people or like to like cover back end deals oh, oh. like most of the time it's not like to let the people walk away it's like to give your other teams a chance to get here or to maybe like alter the deal so they think they're getting through with it but in the I end they have okay. like a planted tracker and the money they give them yeah the it, it, yeah, it, I know what you're talking it, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still they're, they're still considered a negotiator. Yeah, yeah. I swear there's another title, but we're gonna go with negotiator. Sure. Uh, but at any rate, at the exact same time, once you went unconscious, so did your demon. So uh, this okay. more not I wouldn't say natural form, but this more coerced form that you have your body subconsciously be accustomed to, like grew back. Sure, there are some shadowy bits around. But she doesn't know if it's you or the, you know, the very dangerous assassin. Sure, that makes sense. Uh, Jillian does state though. There's no need for that. I can come in. We can negotiate with your boss, and we can deal with this matter at hand. Uh, would be, could be, would be viable. So long as your friends don't interfere. That shouldn't be too much of an issue now, wouldn't it? All right, I will allow this endeavor, so long as you let me keep my hostage, at least until we move far enough away. Then you and I split off, and your... I don't know what he is to you. Boyfriend, according to records, gets scot-free and... <laughs> so does whatever lives inside him now. Very curious. Uh, looking towards her, the guard simply state, Ma'am, I'm not really sure if you're authorized to do this. Authorized or not, I still have to do this. I am the best one currently in the negotiating seat, and regardless of any of that, 
I have to make sure the civilian survives. And, well, with my own training, it's better having a conscious individual being taken rather than an unconscious one. And at this point, Nikolai, go ahead and roll your death save as, well, your team is walking through. <laughs> and I'll discuss Ooh. what your team is doing. That's Seven. one fail. Okay. So, two successes, yeah. one failure. And uh, it is now round seven of your sphere, so it's only two more to go. I think it lasts for nine. Ten. Do you roll for ten? Well, I guess, yeah. Uh, cube. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, it lasts for a minute, so that's ten rounds, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, your team is more or less walking in, you know, <laughs> not really dealing with any situation in the hand, the whisper does state. Okay, uh, not for not, we probably should find a buyer for some of the stuff we to acquired. Uh, uh, yeah, most definitely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll, like, deal with the cops, uh, like, tell them where the bodies are hidden and, like, explain the situation. They attacked us first. We're all agreed on this story, right? Yes. I, uh, above game. Above game. Yes. The story is, is that they attacked Bentar. <laughs> That's the story. Killed him. <laughs> and then we attacked them. I'm loving, I'm then waiting for the time us. that Nikolai gets to hear this story. This is going to be good. <laughs> <It'd> be... <laughs> oh, great. Okay. Yeah. All right. I will do all the talking. Since my, I, I, I do, ha I am proficient in deception. <laughs> I will hold myself back. I won't say anything because I've never been in this situation before. <laughs> uh, Opal does state, and I'll keep Fauna out in the, you know, main street building so she doesn't say anything truthful. Or, you know, not towards the story itself. I don't know what you mean by that, but okay. Better, better that way. Uh, Opal then states, all right then, I think most of the shops are on the main road, so we're going to have to pass the quad area. Not quad area, what am I thinking of? Courtyard? Probably. Courtyard. Courtyard area, so probably the best way to go there first. Plaza? 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 Maybe. Where? Maybe? I'm thinking of, like, the main like, area in the city that, like, is basically open air with a whole bunch of things. I'm just going to say main area. Yeah, Makes sense. Plaza, yeah. marketplace. Where? Main um, plaza, square. marketplace. Uh, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue to find, you know, a vendor. Uh, you travel for a bit, and eventually you do hear some commotion, like some shouting in the distance. Uh, as you, as adventurers would, they snoop towards the area to see, you know, if you can't find a job to pay you a little bit more money. Or maybe to see if your friend, because he's definitely in town. You spoke with him not that long ago. Uh, is causing trouble. I swear, if he got himself arrested again. Whisper then states, that... probably wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me with the trouble that he's caused. Although, I do have to say, he has gotten better lately. He, he has. I will agree on that. As you say but... that, you round the corner of the statue and you see Nikolai in a force cube. Yeah, Hair, body half dangled down to the ground, carried by an individual man you don't know. Uh, looks very bestial, death, plague, destruction. Jillian in the background, like currently talking with her guards, and then she it notices is, you. <laughs> it is face just like her smile just melts into a, a face of shock and fear for a moment. We, we know it's about the Porsche that. Cube, right? Yeah, we know about the Porsche Cube. Yeah, I <laughs> think he mentioned it once. Really? You know enough to know that this could be the Force Cube, at the very least. Uh, you just don't know what setting he's on. Uh, that being the case, though, uh, Jillian does notice it's you. Cool. And uh, while all of you do notice the current surrounding area, uh, Ada, you do know that this man basically has a knife to Nikolai. There's, like, no possible way he can miss unless something distracts him. And, like, heavily. It has to heavily distract this man. Unfortunately, this man is a professional. 
Uh, that being the case, though, you do notice that they also carry some weird green uh, coloration to their skin in the very, like, small little nits and corners of areas you can see skin. Like, they carry a mask on them, but some of the neck area is visible, and you can see that with your very high pass perception. Uh, you can also tell that uh, Jillian is discussing things, uh, telling her officers that she is going to be away for a bit, uh, make sure that the ordeal and plan of the situation at hand is... Uh, repeated towards the actual office and the lieutenant gets word so search and rescue might be able to be presented uh, otherwise there's also a call for uh, medical agents to service Nikolai as we're not entirely sure what these people are capable of uh, you also can tell she's moving or looking here and there at rooftops and sideways alleys and that more than likely suggests there might be other people around or she's waiting for other people. You're not entirely sure. Uh, that being the case, though, the <laughs> bad guy also notices you around the corner. Uh, looking towards you, the bad guy simply states, Oh, well, this is interesting. I suggest you don't move, kill this man, whatnot, blah, blah, blah. You generally get the idea. Assassin, here to deal my job. Not really dangles Nikolai part of my job, but part of it, if it needs to be. We clear. Looking towards Ada, Opal, Whisper of Hana, and Dust. He doesn't know who you are specifically. It's just like, oh, people that could cause trouble. Warn them before I do anything. Because I don't have to kill this man, but I will if I have to. Out of game, Dogma, quick question. Uh, what would the possibility be if uh, <laughs> Ada goes into the queue and tries to, I don't know, like choke hold or just try to get the assassin out of Nikolai's general area? Not like out of the queue, but out of the way so he doesn't get hurt again. It would be very hard to do. Like, uh... It wouldn't be impossible. You're just not exactly sure what, you know, setting it's set up for. You did hear, Nikolai, like, the force cube. I don't remember the exact things you told them. It's like this cube uh, can, like, force people in and out. But I don't think you told I, them much. I, would, I think I would say, uh, like, my words are something about, like, oh, this is a barrier that can protect you from a situation where you need to be separated from somebody and you, they can't get in or out and you can't get in or out. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, you know that much, Ada. Which isn't helpful <laughs> in this current <laughs> situation. Yeah. Uh, you do know that there's some teleportation magic that you might be able to bypass through this, but you would need to cast it twice. Or somehow someone needs to be able to cast it at a long distance. Uh, I don't know if anyone in your current team can do that other than maybe Nikolai, but he's a yeah. only what I did, I that did not. Yeah. Uh, that I mean, did. Oh, <laughs> that uh, being the case, but though. If, yeah, yeah, okay, go. you got go it. Ahead, you, go ahead. Uh, uh, I was, I was going to say I left out the fact of, I said people. I didn't say spells, so. Right. Yeah. Uh, Ada and Dusk, go ahead and roll insight to see if there's a potential chance of spells. I'm going to say DC 16. Because the way it was worded is kind of hard to tell if spells could go through. Wow, okay. Wow. I, Ada, uh, I, you okay. believe that potentially <laughs> spells can go through? Like, there isn't a 100% chance that it can be, but that it is a possibility. Based on what Nikolai said, he said people. So it's a possible thing that, you know, spells can go through. Maybe weapons if you're lucky. But that is still a chance you have to take and risk with a man literally having a knife to Nikolai's throat. Or arm. I technically said arm. Sorry, Dogma. I was talking and saved time. Oh. Really? <laughs> uh, that being the case, though, everyone go ahead and roll turn order, including Nikolai. Because okay. I don't know what you're going to have, what you're going to do, and if we do get into combat, might as well have the turn order already. Okay. Um, before I do turn order, I just want to look at one thing to see if I have played a spell and it ask if it will work. Look at that. That's a great... Uh, yeah. Uh, a five. Yeah. Oh boy. But that's a that's a last, isn't it? And I roll a twenty-one on my second on my action my fake one. 
<laughs> I got a 12. <sighs> That's just <laughs> one of those <laughs> things. Okay, that was just... today. Uh... <laughs> You're rolling well today. The, I barely ever do, so I, I'll take what I get. <laughs> okay. Ba, 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 ba. Jillian's new roll was a 14. Is it? Uh, let's see here. It was Jillian Guards, Bad Guy, NPC Group. Uh, so I'm going to represent NPC Group as Whisper. Ooh, a 19. Yeah, I rolled well for them for some reason. Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, here's how it's going to go. Uh, you guys can do whatever you need to do or decide to do on your turns. Uh, and Nikolai, on your turn, you will roll a death save and like count the turn order down by one. Okay. Uh, once mm -hmm. the force field go down, goes down, there's a chance that you might be able to do some things here and there. Not you yep. specifically, but the group can do some things here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the exact same time, if he believes that something could potentially, you know, counteract what he's trying to do, he might just straight up kill you to at least yes. do some harm. Or well, at the very least, yeah. do something make it, bad. Make an attack or something, yeah. Yeah. Like, as mentioned beforehand, he probably won't instant kill you because that wouldn't cause as much trauma as, you know, doing something else. <laughs> That being the case, though, it is uh, NPC turn, and well, Whisper does state. Okay, I really have no idea what's going on. I don't know how Nikolai did this. <laughs> Gotta remember, teams of two, all agreeing on that. Yep. Okay. Honestly, I'd attack him, but I don't know if the force field can do weapons. Uh, I don't know. It's up to you guys. Uh, NPCs hold action. Uh, yeah. Ada. Okay, hang on. I want to. I should have done this while I was doing it. Great, hold up. Uh, okay. So, can I. I'm asking this to you specifically, Dongwa, out of game. Can I cast Hold Person on the Assassin? Uh, yeah, I think so. I just forget you have whole person. I don't know why I forget. <laughs> Sisters just came in out of nowhere. I had a few for a sec. All right. Uh, so he has a high wisdom. Mm. That's true. Okay. You don't know that, yeah, so that's that's, I'm just telling you after the fact. So you have to cast yeah. hold person now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm gonna cast hold person. I can only do. Okay, can and I that is vocal, somatic, and material. Is there any way to like not whoosh your hands? Because he does have a held action, Stand and I told you somebody. guys he had a held action. <laughs> Mm. Does he have to see my hand for it to work? Uh, it... It's basically vocal, somatic, and material. Material, don't worry about that unless it's, you know, a hundred gold or a diamond. Uh, but basically, you're saying the words and, like, moving your hands to cast a spell. Sorcerers, which you're not, like, have, like, things that can negate some of these things. But if he notices something happening, he will do something and he did mention if you try anything he will do something you might want to just say i don't know think that, about think about what you do because nikolai could die if you do yeah, something wrong that being the you case get, though at a game you know nikolai isn't going to die but he might get you know worse yeah or the death. The, um there there is a move called uh like hold action to where you yes. can essentially make uh, a scenario, uh, a scenario, and say if he does something, if he does this, or if he does something, I will do this. Yeah. Right now, the NPCs are, uh, if there's an opening to attack him safely without Nikolai in the way, 
they're going to do it. Okay, if if he's going to attack Nikolai or try to escape from the cube after it goes down, I want to hold the action of hold person. Can I do that? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think that's all I can really do at this moment. I don't believe I can heal without the assassin. <laughs> so Heal yeah. healing. Healing. Oh. I don't think I can heal Nikolai without the assassin noticing me do something. Especially since most of them are, I have to touch him. Yeah. So. Uh, and most spells are usually vocal for a cleric. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's, okay. that's that's all I'll do. Uh, holding your action. Uh, the man inside, you believe is a man, again, coated from head to toe in assassin garb. Stereotypical. Oh, all right, then. Hmm. I'll settle for this, Miss Jillian. All right, then. Simple enough. Like, it shouts loud enough that your team can also hear. Here's how it's going to go. I'm going to take this guy, <laughs> Dangles Nikolai, and her around the block in about say five minutes you come and collect this one from a street i will dispose him out don't worry he won't be cause any harm unless you do something or unless i see something funny that being the case though me and well his girlfriend are gonna have a little talk with my boss simple enough and who knows, you might get out unscathed, or she might, dependent on how nice he is right now. But one false step, well, <laughs> I am closer to your friend than they are. I assume friend. Otherwise, that loud outburst of party of two makes no sense, or for the fact that you didn't run as soon as you saw me brandishing a knife to this man's hands. Choices you're to make. But don't worry. I'll leave a few warnings before I just murder him. Wouldn't be as fun if it ended so soon. Jillian and the guards on their turn do state. Uh. She does say, uh, and then she states. All right. I don't really know what's going on. Honestly, it better me than anyone else. Anyone potentially interfering, do not cause any harm. And honestly, at this point in time, we're not even sure what's going on. Things aren't really seeming able to go through the force field of whoever summoned this. But as of right now, make sure things are as safe as possible. Make sure you're as safe as possible. And don't worry, we'll deal with this as fast as we can. No one has to die here. And she's more or less saying this to the guy, as well as you guys. Like, she knows your team. She was told stories of Nikolai and his adventures with uh, his friends, allies, teammates. She is oh, for dude. sure more or less telling you guys don't do anything that could potentially kill someone. Right now, they're only after me. And I'm conscious. So it's better to have someone go with them knowing where they are rather than someone unconscious that could potentially be dead or be dragged along. Uh, holds action. Uh, dust. Um. You can also just ignore her. I'm not going to ignore her. Um, I'm going to listen to her because I know like that she has a better grasp of what's going on. But I Okay. I am however going to prep the spell Conjure Elemental. Um, so that if anything does go wrong, I will summon it, but 
also, I'm going to be summoning it as a No, it will be minor conjure minor elementals. I'll be and I'll be conjuring a bunch of them um, to actually protect and find out where he's going with Julian. Mm -hmm. But I won't do it until he's out of. Until at least he's not necessarily out of sight, but a little ways away before, so that he wouldn't necessarily see my hand signs yeah. and my verbal somatics. So. Yeah, far enough away that unless he's as crazy high as perceptive as Ada, wouldn't notice it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and it will be air elementals, so. Yeah. Uh, normally they are visible because we've been doing this for so long and because I like the idea. Uh, only truly in their actual native plane are they invisible. But I still like them invisible now, so that that's still <laughs> totally fine. I, I, it's not that they're invisible. It's they're harder to see. Yeah, like most of the time like, they pick up sediment and debris around to like give them form and shape, but it's still very hard to see them. Yeah, like, if I was to conjure a full elemental, yeah, no, it would be very noticeable. But for, like, if I do it, say, let's see, uh, like, the eight lower elemental of one-fourth or lower, yeah. they're, like, really tiny, and that's what I'm doing. I'm just going for pure numbers. Yeah. But <laughs> if it's any more than, like, I want to say... Uh, four elementals they would be seen yeah okay uh holding your action to engage the system you uh do so uh nikolai go ahead and roll me a death saving throw uh, okay Boop. okay that is two fails wow. two successes and one more down uh, from your force cube so we're at turn cube. eight turn eight uh, or round eight. Yep. Okay. For some reason, I swear we're at nine, but okay. We could be at nine, but I mean, um, it would be seven. I, 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 well, I said, yeah, yeah. Said I don't know. I think we might have missed one. Like, because I, I, they, you said five when we, when they were at three, when they were at, you said we were at three when you said they were five rounds to get here. So, I mean, technically, yeah, but. Sure. Would it be round yeah. nine? It would be round nine because it okay. would be okay. that turn now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now, now they they have been here around. So yeah. Yeah. So okay. at so this is round nine. So there's two more. So there's you have to go a full round for for this round and then the next round for the cube to end. Yeah. Uh. Well. It, uh. At order, since it's only been a few seconds. Uh, Whisper Fauna looks towards you guys, uh, noticing that no one seemed to be doing anything. Uh, they decide to hold off. However, Whisper, not sorry, Whisper, uh, Opal is doing something, but not visible to them, but visible to you guys. Uh, she's like rummaging through her pack, but you don't really know what she's doing. But she is holding an action for something. Uh, the rest, however, are holding their standard actions, like keeping weapons close to hand, but not fully exposed. Uh, Ada. So out of game, any funny business including includes walking up, right? Probably. Okay. Like, they might tell you, like, if you decide to walk up, they, I don't know, they'll do the evil up, 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 be careful. Kind of thing. I suppose you can experiment and see what happens. See if they're nice enough. Yeah, it is. It is gonna raise her hand. She's not gonna do anything. She's just gonna walk about 15, 15, 15 20 feet up. Yeah, uh, you do so, and at that distance, he does turn around and not like heavily turn around, but he like looks more towards you. Uh, not any closer, if you would. 
I would so hate for him to be injured while keeping an eye on you. I might accidentally slip, and he might lose a finger, a hand, an arm, or a leg. I am aware of the situation right now. Good. But at least give me the chance just to heal him. Ah, uh, there's plenty of that. Uh. Hmm. No. Don't worry, though. I will keep him alive before he goes bleeding out. You have my word on that, at the very least. Someone dead isn't as useful as someone alive. I also don't know what you mean, Nikolai, with the are you. Are you? I mean, I'm like, if I roll my final death save, is he going to keep me alive? <laughs> <laughs> he might do something before you die. He's been keeping an eye on the surrounding environment. He's not dumb. Okay. I mean, he doesn't have control over if I fail my death save or not. So. He kind of does in a way that you don't know. Again, you're unconscious. Listen, I promise I won't do anything to harm you in any specific way. Just mm. at least let me stop the bleeding. And then I'll let you go. I won't do anything else. More persuasion. Alright. Do, 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 do. Uh, I'm on my spells. Dang it. I had a game. I should have just closed all the information tabs I had out for them. So, uh, persuasion? Right? Yeah. I have zeros. This is not gonna go well. Well, oh no. <laughs> yep. Uh, right. You don't seem like a very good liar. At the exact same time, not really sure if you're being truthful. How about this? Get in the cube. Give him a medicine check. Anything funny? And I take you both. Or I just slit this man's throat. Hand, arm, leg, gut. I'm fine with either. And you can try to revive his corpse. Okay, um, out of game, I only have... I can only go about two more cubes, and that's really it. I'm going to say thematically you can enter inside. I can. Okay, so that's fine with the other way. All right, so I can go in? Yeah. Go uh, in. Basically, if you try anything funny, if he like wakes up, uh, and like attempts to do anything, he will just straight up try to kill Nikolai immediately, uh, and potentially take you out as well. He basically gave a vague enough threat that you're not sure what he's going to do, but he's going to do something if, at any point in time, something happens, other than you stabilizing him. So can you? So is Ada on the approaching the cube right now? Oh. Uh, yeah, she can if you want to. Okay. Can she go into the cube? Do I have to make a check for that? Like, or... You begin to like put your hands out, and he does state, I'm not sure exactly what can and can't go through, but you can attempt it. All right, I'm just going to attempt to go through. What, yeah. what do I do? Uh, you just use your hands to like try to go through, and you can tell... like. It is not exactly working to the best degree as possible. Like, you try to outstretch your hands to go through, and it is working slowly, but violently. Uh, you're in a half state of death and life right now. Your mind is still fully cognitive of who you are, at least for now. But your body is another story. You are basically, tr basically trying to force a living matter thing through something that's solidly there. But because you're also an undead, it can theoretically work, but in a half-life basis. I will state you can go through, but you will take 8d6 points of uh, force damage. Mm. I'm, I'm going to risk it. Okay. Okay. So he's going to go through. Right. Or push us through. <laughs> uh, you push your way through, and uh, it feels as if everything around you is rendering your body asunder. It does heavily hurt, but you will likely not die from this. But it will still hurt. <laughs> uh, you take 26 points of force damage. Okay. Alright, let me do the math real quick. Okay. 
Okay, uh, 666 spell points. All right. Okay. Okay. Not dead, but not doing the best. Uh, <laughs> the man does state, surprising. Uh, not really sure what you are, but you could be valuable, but a deal is a deal. Rather not be against it. Go ahead and do your little medicine check. No magic, or else we have an issue. Right. Okay. Benson. You're yeah. kidding. No, oh. uh, <laughs> a 10 is enough. Don't worry about it. Uh, because he had, you know, half and half of death and life, a 10 was enough to solidify, you know, passing. Your medicine check was just saying, will you roll a 10 or higher? To basically flatten him out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and and you just barely. Are, yeah. Med med medicine checks are you just have to roll a 10 to stabilize. Yeah. Uh. Uh, healing him, you make sure that everything is fine, stable. You bandage him up to a degree. Obviously, not to the best degree. You're not exactly in the best environment, but you stop the bleeding and, you know, his breath slowly uh, but surely enough uh, stabilizes. All right, then. Huh. You could also be useful with your healing skills, but again, deal's a deal, and I am a man of my word. You can stay here, and if anything happens, watch your friend die face to face, or you can exit through the cube again, but I'll leave that up to you. At that point in time, though, the turn would end, and you wouldn't be able to go through. Uh, <laughs> do you still hold your uh, action to cast a spell? Yes. Yeah, okay. I'm going to say bonus action to use medicine. That's perfectly A-OK. Okay. okay. Uh, the band simply states towards everyone. All right, then. Easily enough. Friend isn't dead just yet. Stable, but not dying. Again. I'm a professional. I don't deal with death unless I, ha unless I have to. So don't make me have to. It is very annoying to hear people cry and complain. Uh, holding his reactive action. Uh, Julian gives the same speech. Curious to see if there's anything else that can go through. She does attempt to know. She, she, actually, she wouldn't know his passive perception. Uh, she's going to attempt it anyways. Uh, actually, she would say something because she would not be dumb... Uh, to potentially put people's lives in danger. Uh, Jillian just states, Why was she able to go through and not any of our men? Don't really know. Not really my force wall or anything. Your little boyfriend here summoned it before you guys arrived. In a bit of time, I highly suspect it will go down. Most things go down. If it doesn't, well... <laughs> What a dumb magical item. More than likely, we'll go down soon, though. But soon still means I have a few potential turns to gut this man, so don't really try anything. Because now I have two hostages, potentially. And I'd rather not kill one, let alone two. She's going to see if she can't read this man well. Plus five... Uh, 16. She does believe the man because he is being truthful. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's not going to try to throw a ball bearing through to see if it'll work. She's not going to risk the life. And neither are her men. Uh, she told them to stand down and prepare for the worst. Uh, dust. I am going to continue to hold the action of summoning uh, the air elementals. Okay. Making sure your allies have assistance rather than potentially dying, that is probably a good call. Nikolai, you are yes. stable. Uh, so that just means on a short rest, you will eventually wake up. But oh. that is like an hour. <laughs> so I can't do anything? No, but it is another t round that goes down. So that is 10 now. Oh, I thought I was... I wanted to roll another save. Ah, roll a fun <laughs> one. See what happens. Okay. 
Yeah, I would have died. I am so glad you stabilized so him. Oh, That's God. great. Yeah, I was like, I Thank was you. Just for a second, this isn't going to work, is it, in any way? Uh... I read two positives and then three three <laughs> no's. Three no no's. Oh, my God. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> yeah, for sure, if you accidentally murdered yourself, I would let that happen. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean... Death is only death because you, I mean, you can bring somebody back. Oh, yeah, for sure. If you have the spells and the money and the diamond. Oh. And the oh. money. I think at this point you would have the diamond, though, but I don't know if you have the spell prepared uh, currently. Yeah. Don't we Revivify? have the. Revivify? Do we have the, like, the, the. I don't know if it was a wand or a stick or whatever. The, uh, Nikolai the had the wand. Yeah, yeah, I have it in my, like, in my pocket. You think? Uh, uh, or, would you have that, or would you have that in the bag of holding? Or in the bag of holding? You think? You think if it's still <laughs> on you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did mention rummaging. I mean, Ada's pretty good at perceiving things. Uh, yeah, that's true. Nick, uh, what <laughs> you can tell that Nikolai is missing a few things, like a bag here and there, his weapons here and there, anything visible on him has it is like on the other guy now somewhere like on his coat underneath his coat like there are some uh bulges here and there that indicate hiding some things on his person could be weapons could be nikolai's stuff but nikolai is missing a few things unless he pawned them it's probably on that guy uh the girl squad holds their turn ada all right, so I mm, I should have checked my spells real quick. Hold on. Um, I'm trying to see if any of my healing spells doesn't involve my voice, but I think, like you said in the past, they all involve my voice. Most of them, if they have a vocal. If they have the V. Yeah, okay. Um, hmm. Okay, can I can I try giving Nick? I I know I'm risking things, but can I try giving Nick Light a healing potion? It'll be very hard. Uh, yeah, I, I'm aware of that. Not impossible. I would say go ahead and roll sleight of hand with okay. disadvantage. All right, that's fair. Okay, because I think Ada has two healing potions in her inventory. Oh, I have a minus one in sleight of hand. That's great. I keep rolling threes. <laughs> I keep rolling uh, threes. <laughs> what is the You rolled an 18. Uh, it is at disadvantage, though. I know. Uh, great. Okay. Uh, you begin to, like, look towards this man while he's, like, maybe looking towards Jillian. You begin to, like, scrummage through your bag. And then you just hear a uh, sound. As if a blade just cut through something. Uh, you notice... Uh, on the ground, uh, two fingers. Uh, at that point in time, the there's going to be... Okay, I'm letting off the action. I said if... I did... Oh, yeah. If, <laughs> if Nikolai gets hurt by him in any way, I'm casting Cold Person. Does that hurt me? Oh, yeah, cold for sure. You're rolling yeah. death saves now. <laughs> Okay. Oh, now I'm rolling death saves again. again. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. There's going to be two. I'm going to bump it instead of eight. Oh, actually, no, it's going to be eight uh, air elementals. They're just going to pop up in the area of the... All right, I'm pulling out one person again. In the force cube. Bing. I don't know if there's <laughs> enough room for eight. Even if they're small, no, there's, some, there's six. 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 Okay. six. It's going to be a very okay. cramped six, six will, square six. after this. <laughs> six will pop up inside. Uh, you could just surround well. him also because, yeah. yeah. Two, two will be. Okay. So, and I will. Okay, uh, where would they go? Actually, I'm just going to make eight of them and then you can just place them where uh technically everyone has 
uh, control of them. Don't abuse it. Don't abuse it. Got it. Get him, boy. <laughs> oh, now it's just really crowded. Oh my goodness. It's just really crowded now. There's like little to no space in the cube. Yeah. Is that? Wait, that's not. Take one away. Take one away. That's oh, funny. oops. My bad. <laughs> Uh, that being the case, though, because you're unconscious and you are stabilized, uh, I'm not going to be that mean, but you did just automatically fail a death saving throw. Oh, okay. You would normally oh, okay. fail, too, but yep. Ada did some work, and I didn't want to <laughs> yeah. do yeah. that. Gotcha. Uh, so he's yeah. not... It's the, okay. I confuse. I get confused by this all the time when it comes to death saving throws. After they get unconscious action. again, do they still? Um, does the death saving rules restart, or does it just continue? Uh, it restarts, from what I remember. Okay. Yeah. So, but he did fail one because he was stabilized and just got down uh, by one. That being the case, though, elementals are summoned up, and you like had your held action but it's not your turn so you don't have that held action anymore but because you didn't do the whole healing potion thing you just still have your action so you can cast <laughs> a hold version if you want all right i did yeah uh exactly. you use your spell to like try to grab onto this man uh with arconic uh implementation and well let's see if you're gonna roll well mm. we're rolling we're rolling the big dice now Oh my gosh! Oh, great. Okay, so it's. I thought it's, it's you. She has to, he has. He has to make he a saving throw. Roll. Yeah, it's must have seen on it. What's the saving throw, or be paralyzed for a duration of time? What's your DC? My DC was. Uh, where do I find that again? Sorry. Oh, go to the spell tab. And it's up at the yeah. top. I think it's a fifteen or a sixteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Was it a fifteen? Fifteen. Unfortunately, right. this man is wise, one. but not the wisest in the world. So he does have a plus seven. Now that you know that. Oh my god! Okay. I told you he was wise. <laughs> I I know he did, and I underestimated. <laughs> that being the case, though, I do roll fairly terribly in these. Uh... I feel like he just jinxed everything from just saying that. Just no, it always works the opposite if, way for me. If Usually, it, if, if you roll a nat twenty, I'm funny. saying that he jinxed it. It would be hilarious if he did. Okay, uh, here we go. Uh, ba -ba. That's nice. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> he is uh, paralyzed. He goes oh. in uh, potentially for a strike, uh, swiping two fingers off. You see that uh, his pinky and ring finger are taken off from his left hand. Uh, immediately seeing danger, you cast your magic and you hold and bind onto this person, uh, restricting him of his movements. Uh, you have a but, bonus action and a movement if you decide to take it. So I have a bonus action. I don't think I have any spells with a bonus action. So there isn't there healing. I, healing I, I, I think there is. Oh, but yeah, you just cast a spell. Yeah, you just cast. Yeah, a spell. so I can't. Yeah, so I'm. I'm... So okay. yeah, I can't do it. All right, I'll stay where I am. Okay. Okay. Da, 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 da. He has it. I'm not causing more damage than I already have done. No, but now he can't do anything <laughs> on his turn, and he has to use his the end of his turn to make a saving throw. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but you don't know what he has for reactions now. <laughs> uh, taking note of this, he then uh, is paralyzed. So for the round, well, for the turn, and uh, still fail. Uh, doing really well. <laughs> uh, still held in place, he isn't able to do much. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I do the lightning thing. All right. Uh, Julian, not really too sure what's going on, and obviously knows your team and summoning elementals. Uh, she risks it, tries to attempt uh, to volley a few arrows down the shot. Since at this point in time, you've put <laughs> Nikolai's life in danger already. There's, like, no going back on this. Uh, yeah. Uh, so the knights take a volleyed shot. Oh, man. Uh, ba -ba -ba. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Uh, oh, and... Those aren't that bad, actually. 
And three of them hit. Nice. Uh, so you're going to have a fun day. <laughs> okay. Uh, the other one plus two, so I just do 3d6 uh, plus six. 15, and then Jillian takes her own shot. Uh, nine plus modifier. Uh, she just barely misses. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's that turn. Dust, you and your elementals. Okay. Uh, for my turn. Dust. I am going to do... Don't I'm going shut to... up. Don't do what I did. Attack. <laughs> Attack, Dust. Attack. <laughs> Yeah, right. Dusty's paralyzed. Yes. Yeah. Those are auto crits. Oh, shoot. Are they? Dang. Okay. Uh, yeah, you do basically uh, double the damage. Okay. I am. I have one more spell slot left for the day. So I'm going to cast Hex on him using my bonus action. Let's see the fifth level. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to launch, uh, three, Every what? Mental atom. You're, you have, wait, is that, a, is that a thing for your, uh, are you hexing with like a, is that a concentration thing or is that part of your ability? Uh, let's see. Oh, never mind. Because, uh, okay. all Mentals need the concentration. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So never mind the hex. Okay. Um, because I want the elementals. Makes sense. Um. Okay. Now, uh, I am going to do the eldritch blast. Three eldritch blasts. I'm pretty sure you hit. Yep, on throw three. Okay, with that last one being a natural twenty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. So that's fifteen, uh, twenty-eight plus. That's fifty-eight points of damage. Yeah. And then um, the elementals. Um, what they're going to do is they're just going to create basically a whirlwind around him. Um, because the air elementals, they have, uh, it's, I know there's eight of them, but they're small. Um, in the air elementals, they have a whirlwind ability. It's a it's DC uh, 13 strength saving throw. I'm pretty sure you fail. Yeah. They, they they would fail. Yeah. Um, and then it, it's um, they take fifteen uh three D eight plus two. I'm just gonna use all the uh oh elements to do that. <laughs> Wait, is that uh, is that so the th crit damage? No, no. Uh well this is from the air elementals. Yeah, are those had... crits? They, he is paralyzed, right? Or they? Yeah, he he's paralyzed. It's an auto crit because yeah, it's okay. okay, so that is okay. So fifty-eight plus uh, sixty-nine. Double that. Jeez, there's a there's a lot. <laughs> let, let, let me. I, I I have to double check. I think my Eldritch Blast has uh, additional damage that it deals. Oh my God. Okay, yeah. Plus my charisma, so it's one d10 plus my charisma. So I'm bringing out a calculator. <laughs> you don't double charisma, so you do it three times, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to add them up and then minus 15. Mm -hmm. 15 plus 13 plus 14 plus 16. 
equals minus 15 plus 11. K. K. Uh, times two. Okay, that's 108 damage just with the dice. Plus yeah. 15. Respectable. Uh, um, this man only has 78 health left, and he can't have some of that because he is held. Can't do his reactions. <laughs> so you want to finish him off? Um. Ooh. So he's going to be... So essentially what's going to happen... <laughs> just killed a guy again. <laughs> what's essentially going to happen is the earth elementals are going to swarm him, and he just gets caught up in this whirlwind, and he's going to be flung towards the the statue... Uh, for that 15 points of damage. And while he's flying, I'm just going to sit there and take pot chop at him as he goes by. And uh, um, the, my final shot will be just as his head makes contact with the uh, the statue to where he just goes, flat. His head just goes. Okay. Ew. <laughs> very violently. Uh, this oh, man is throwing into the air. <laughs> <laughs> uh, taking a last shot and then <laughs> it's the crap. Uh, motionless and dead. I'm going to say at that point in time, the s force field that wouldn't allow that uh, dissipated at the exact same time. Uh, and with that, I'm going to Send out the my air the air elementals just to search to see if there's any more, and they're just gonna uh, move out. Okay. Uh, your elementals begin to scatter through. Uh, do you like send them across the walls, like maybe on the roofs or like into buildings? Uh, just more along. Uh, up on the roofs, like still probably not within the city, but more of just in this general area to where they can generally see, just to yeah. get more eyes. Okay, uh, you send your elementals out into the wild. I'll leave one in DM layer in case you need them again. Uh, Jalen immediately uh, was already making plans, but uh, <laughs> rushes into the area, uh, sets the situation. Guards begin to more or less. Uh, quarantine the area, begin to call in for backup. Uh, some of them do head out to, you know, call this in. And Jillian does call you all over. Can you testification and make sure you're all okay? In the meantime, can't uh, technically allow you to leave. Crime scene. Uh, That's fine. <laughs> she begins to make a medicine check. Uh, combat is essentially over for now. Mm. Uh, for now. I mean, I'm still, I'm still having to make just to make the medicine check, Oh, yeah. It, actually, whose turn is it next? Uh, oh, it would be Nikolai. So, Nikolai, <laughs> make one. <laughs> I, I roll a 12. He did. Oh. Okay, you're fine. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Ada's turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, do a level 3. Level 32. So I think I what do we got? What do we got? Hold on. Hold on. I need to make sure if I can actually do a level 3 because I realize I don't have many spell slots left. Okay. Yeah, I can. All right. Yeah, boop, boop. There we go. Oh, okay. oh, that's disappointing, but mm. oh, it's better than nothing. Okay. Yeah. Oh gosh. Uh, being healed because you're PC, you do auto wake up. That's not technically a rule, but people like to do that, and I like to too. So long as you're a PC. Uh, you begin to rise up and stir while Jillian is attending to your wounds, and Ada is basically casting magic to heal you. Uh, you are awakened to a fright and startled. Uh, what, that... what, the, uh, Jillian? Ow. My hand? What's what's going on? Uh, it's That's all right. Uh, currently, she is bandaging them up. You are missing two fingers. <laughs> Where's the... Where'd he go? Uh, ow, my head. Where's the guy? He's dead. Uh, Ada, where... What, uh, Don't. what happened? No. Uh, no, we're not getting slated right now. Right now, you need to be healed. So shut no, up. But we didn't get the info. He was trying to kill Jillian. People are he trying was to an kill assassin. me all the time, Nikolai. Yeah, I'm quite literally an officer of the law. 
a detective, and a, <sighs> a mobster's daughter. So why did they target you? How many times has this happened? Constantly. Oh my gosh. Not every day, of course, but whenever they consider things going awry. I don't know why they did it this time. They mentioned something about surveillance being highly alerted throughout these couple of weeks. Okay. And Father only ever does that if something has gone awry or if something has burned him in some way or fashion. Oh. Not entirely sure. I'll have to look, at it and look into that. Uh, but right now, it's probably just a warning shot. We'll probably go okay. We just want to make sure, hopefully, someone in our division can cast Greater Restoration or else you're going to be not having those two fingers anymore. I would like... Well, Ada can do that. Right? Um, yeah. Dude. Yeah, okay. It's going to cast great restoration. Uh, yeah, you, like, take one of the diamonds you found, air quotes, uh, in that one <laughs> uh, <laughs> place, which, yeah, for sure, I was for sure certain you had enough money. Uh, you take it out and begin to cast greater restoration. However, it is not proccing properly. At least not as much as you would want it. It is working. Like, your spell is working, but Nikolai's genetically is altered. What? Uh, of his own accord, technically. More details right now. Uh, as your wounds begin to mend and heal, you can tell that your fingers are regrowing back, re-knitting itself. But it is a far darker uh, charcoal color, as if ash is from a dead fire. Uh, soon enough, it begins to immolate over and through until it becomes two almost fanged uh, limbs. You do have your fingers back, but they are far more demonic. Uh, why? Nicolai, you're, you're my birth friends, right? What okay. kind of question is that, Ada? I'm have, asking been... that, have you not been telling me about something? <sighs> If you're not going to say it, then go ahead. But if you're going to just stay silent and not tell me, I'm going to be concerned. Obviously, this looks at the two... Jester's at the two fingers. Was not supposed to happen. Let, let me stand up. I'm going to... Nikolai stands up. And then after you get done casting, he's like, well... Um, he walks over to the guy that got like dismembered and then he starts to like turn around and look at the guy and then he starts like well um the it's it, I'm not getting better um I, I learned that the demon that happened from the spell card the wish card it's 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 in me and i and i can't it's it's like i it's it's fused and i can't do anything about it you're telling me this now well, you knew I... that but i didn't know it was starting to make me feel like i was more broken than i was ever before i'm just starting to disintegrate into mad madness and i don't know what i'm turning into Dang it, Nicolai. <sighs> great. Okay, that's great. Great. Okay. Um, it, it, I can't even be upset about this. Why can't I be upset about this? I, I just gotta walk away. She, she needs a breather. She's gonna just. <laughs> yeah. A guard does like follow you, but like at a very good arm's length. Like obviously you're people of. Not people of suspect, but people that, you know, viewed everything and they do need questioning. <laughs> I'm going to investigate the man. The man is dead. <laughs> like, pelted to the ground. Dead. Exploded. <laughs> did I, do I see any, what, I did, I take all this, what did he have on him? Uh, rolled, he has a good amount of your stuff. A lot of it is broken and ripped up and shredded. 
Uh, yeah. That's kind What's of also that? one of the reasons why I asked <laughs> Dust How do you want to do this? I didn't expect such violence, but I didn't that unexpect is... it. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Like, specifically? Like, certain things? Yeah. Uh, like, a lot of it could be mended, but I don't think a bag of holding could be mended. Oh. And technically, oh, an explosion yeah. would happen. I would okay, have had to okay. describe that a far, far different. Okay. Right. Um, uh, actually, Dust, do you remember the wording you said? Because I remember it, but I could be wrong. <laughs> Wait. If you're there. I don't know. Him, he's probably muted. Okay. Uh, I, I had flung him, like, as if he was, like, a, uh, pigeon shoot, like, with shotguns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, clay pigeons. Yep. Um, and when, and toward, and he was basically shot towards the, um, the, the statue. Most of the damage actually came from my my shots at him, my eldritch blast. Like there was only like twenty two points of damage that it, it was, and then I was only going for the splattering of his head. Yeah, okay. You did mention the whole pigeon thing is the main reason I am concerned about this. Uh and the the it was the the force the shield was about to uh be expired too yeah. so yeah i put is the, is did you want that dogma or i mean i don't know if you can see it online i mean i'm pretty sure you can right yeah i can i like oh. uh that is useful thank you uh but the main reason i am concerned is the bag of holding and whatever is contained in that bag oh, oh it, it, uh everything it, basically it, if it works this better, he most likely would not have, like, they wouldn't have shot him with enough force to actually be sent that entire way. Like, how far they throw him is only, like, 20 feet away. Like, throwing him uh, is an issue. It's pelting him with magic. Yeah, he got kind of... Like, if the bag is pierced or torn in any way, and for sure those type of damage could do it. I mean, that being the case, though, it, you might not just hit the thing. Uh, I'm going to say DC is um, 13. Do you want me to say something that's kind yeah, of important? It, yeah. So, I have a bag of holding and I also have a bag of devouring. Oh. So, um, that I is have, important. So, I have two bags, technically. Do you know the difference? Uh, they're the same thing, but one is bad and one is, one is a one holds your stuff and one kind of like sends your stuff it's, to a different yeah, plane kind of, of existence and you can't yeah. get it back. Uh, okay. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. DC fourteen, you hit the bag of holding. DC, sorry. DC fourteen, bag of holding. DC thirteen, uh, bag of devouring. Any higher than that, and you hit both. Dust, go ahead and roll a d20. Okay. That is a 19. Ouch. Wow. <laughs> well, Ooh, um, this means all of do, you oh, Dogma, do you... Oh, no. Oh, uh, if... I'm going to shut my mouth right now. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm gonna roll something. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Only living things cannot go through. Okay. Only living. Those are an an animate ob. Oh, it's the spell. My spell casting. My yeah. Of course. Yeah. This is more I on mean, the lines of, if you were unlucky enough, you hit the bag. Wait. Uh, here's why, why, why would I? Wouldn't this be more of an accuracy thing? That's why I'm rolling luck. 
It's not accuracy. You're not aiming for the bag. You were aiming for his body. And then you blew up his head. Uh, it's more unlucky that you hit it. Dogma, are, are you... I mean, you don't have a... I mean, you have a decent memory, I guess, right? Yeah. Kind of. Can I say something horrible? Sure. You remember what was in the bag of devouring, right? Oh, the go... Yeah. The go in the bag of devouring was The what? It? Was it the... No, I'm thinking the wrong thing. Mm -mm. It was the... No, the worse than that. Oh, what's worse than the... This is, no, mine wasn't in there. There God. was... There was, um... One of the mind flares. Oh. oh, that that would have been dead by now. Yeah, that would have been oh, yeah. uh, in, devour. in devouring. I mean, it would have been. It, it's not stuck in the dimension. What what the well? What the bag of devouring does is it has it in the dimension, and then every day, um, a certain amount of items within the bag of devouring actually get sent to the astral plane. And if it's a living being, they're instantly killed within the bag of devouring. So the thing that was keeping it alive was the, uh, the fact that it was in a vial. Any creature that starts to turn it in the bag of devouring, its body is destroyed. Okay. So it would have been long dead. I mean, Dogman made it long seem long. really like vague that it might have lived somehow, but... <laughs> like if it was lucky, uh, but honestly, at this point in time, it's been enough time that it would have been eaten or sent okay. to a different plane. The bag is just destroyed. That being the case, though, uh, I rolled to see how much uh, stuff you lost, and I rolled 70%. Uh, oh, so I'm going to say some things get flung out and other things doubt, because uh, I don't be that mean. Uh, so I'm just going to selectively choose some things, because I'm going to be mean, but not that mean. <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay. Your wand, your bag, your healer's kit. You. I don't know why you still have your soul book. <laughs> That's gone. Uh. Oh, that was destroyed. No, okay. it was gone. Your contract ended. Okay. Hold on. Oh. Let me just. I'm gonna just start deleting. I mean, you things. can still. You can have it. It's just. Soul book is just gone. A book. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait, wand of revivify is gone. Uh, yeah. Or is it the wand of lightning? Uh. Wand. Well, no. Uh, the first one. Let's go with that. Uh, <laughs> Does Nikolai uh, have the... I would just say this. Does Nikolai have the suit that Ada gave him? The, the suit of the Thunder Mage? Because I know he had it the last time. It's the ice knife cloak. Give it back. I'm not sure if he gave it back. Uh, the envelope. Your... Your liquor. And that's it. Everything else, like, explodes in the air and, like, scatters around and you just pick it up and you have it again. Uh, oh, yeah. Never mind. what a, what about, oh, so the bag of devouring is gone. Yeah, that's just shredded. Uh, the night robes. Like everything he, else he you still have. The stuff that you lost. He I'm named not taking okay. off the stuff that you lost. Yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. I'm not taking everything away from you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, that being the case, though, you did lose a few things, mainly the bags. And, well, yeah. you now have a lot of yeah. stuff in your hands. Yeah. Uh, and but a sad feeling on my heart. Going over the man, uh, you do find what appeared to be uh, two daggers, but they seem to have weird hilts to them because he has three, and that's just weird. Uh, you have those if you examine them and take them off at the exact same time. They're oh so evident, so if you, you know, strip them from a body from... <laughs> an active site well then you know legal issues that being the case though you are working for the kingdom so could be you looked over yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think like dust will be like um i will help you clean up but he'll be more of like uh let's wait and let's wait for them to do it and like it, it like the evidence thing like we'll if we get them back, we'll, they'll give it to it after investigation. So if we get the items. So. Yeah. Uh, other than that, you do find, like, his nice robe. 
uh, that's uh, carved over him, you remove it or like you clean him up. Uh, you can tell that this man is a dragonborn. Uh, as far as you can tell, he does have more humanoid features than most dragonborns, which is odd, but not completely odd. It's not as if you haven't heard something of that sort before, but it does look more humanoid than dragon. So concerning, but not a problem right now. Uh, other than that, they do have a missive on them that either you read or not. Uh, the officers in the area do advise you not to tamper with anything as much as possible. Uh, I'll grab the, the letter or whatever kind of thing that was written there. Yeah. Uh, and then gonna... I, I'm going to, I'm going to take it over to Jillian. Um, Jillian, he had this on his, on his person. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, I, I know you're not an officer, so I know you didn't mean it. Uh, but try not to touch anything while investigating. We I could mean, have potentially scribed uh, this piece of paper, but now we will just be scrying on it and it'd be drawn to you. That's okay. I would really rather know why somebody's attacking you and me, or more so my girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, she does blush a bit, but at the exact same time, she is very professional. So it's barely seen on her face. At the exact same time, Ada has a very high perception check. Although she's not there. <laughs> uh, technically, she's like around the corner. That being the case, though... Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you, but... At the exact same time, if there was an assault on... The public area... Prosecution does need to occur. Uh, but I appreciate the sentiment. Uh, as she begins to open it, it wasn't that long ago, but long enough that uh, the lieutenant and a few other guards uh, come in. But, you know, still enough time that you guys can read the missive. Uh, inside it does state, eh, you really know who will write it, so you don't get a voice or whatever. <laughs> a tone. Mm. Uh, in the note, it just simply reads, Current investigation seems to lead that problems are arising. Make sure that the family is aware of the situation at hand and have one of them, the daughter, be aware of the situation at hand. She is to be altered in mind to make sure that she is aware of the situation and her father wouldn't lay claim to any mishaps. After all, we have a deal here. I do not want someone to alter it let alone someone that is getting a little bit too high on their horse. You have no name, but, you know, you have that message. So, was... Uh, so, it was just... Was it written in a certain uh, language, or was it written in just a normal common? Uh, this one specifically was written in Draconic. Okay, and I could read it perfectly fine because I read Draconic. Uh, yeah, well, so can Jillian, but yeah, you can read it as yeah. well. So, uh, kind of at this point, I will also be reading the. Well, we would have searched. Oh, we we didn't get much off of them. Uh, I'd be reading the note that we got off of uh, Mentar. Uh, that was yeah. Chew. Uh, beforehand, you would have read it probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we would have read it on the way in. Yeah, uh, on the way in when you were reading it, uh, it did read the following. Uh, oh, you don't know who the person would that write it, so you also don't care. <laughs> yep. Anything to it. Uh, it just reads, Current business does seem to be accurate. However, the numbers are a little awry. Please arrive here as soon as possible to alter the deal in any which way as soon as possible. Otherwise, we may need to find someone else. That being the case, though, these weapons and items at hand and the first things you brought over are acceptable. That being the case... We do require more, and we do need to make sure the bottom line is as clear as possible. I understand that you were a demon at one point in time, and your new form is new to you once more. Arrive here within two months. Otherwise, we may need to find someone else. And that's what it reads. There's no name which seems to indicate, you know, they know who the person was. That being the case, though, you don't know who the person is. <laughs> Hmm. 
Hmm. It well, is written in an interesting way, though. Uh, by the way it looks, it is written in... Uh, da, 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 da. Languages... Sorry, I'm looking at the character. Oh yeah, I forgot they could read that. Oh wait, sorry. I forgot they can uh, speak that. Uh, it is written not in abyssal, but in a language closer to uh, abyssal and primordial. I forget the language, it's the fire one. Oh, the language of the... Uh, fire plane? Yes. Okay. That is a sub-language of primordial. Yeah. It's something you can definitely so, read. It's just oh, in yeah. my notes I have <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Fire well, Elemental Prime. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. So. Yeah. Oh. Um, so this is interesting. Um, I guess why a uh, dragonborn that would uh, fight would be target would be the assassin -y. is there a reason why that would be this type of person uh, unfortunately we can't make an id thanks to explosion uh but if i had I mean, to guess they were a very highly skilled mercenary i mean i i got a little bit uh a glimpse of him when i was fighting him i could try to do a sketch I specifically told you you saw scales. Oh, I didn't see anything else? Okay. No. It it, it was potentially going to be a thing, which is why I mentioned it again when Ada saw the man. Um, oh, okay. You straight up blew up his head. There's no getting around I, that. I did not do that. We I as was in your there. team. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, dust. <laughs> Out of game. Jeez. Uh, okay, well, you maybe not out of game. Okay, uh, I mean, uh, okay, I mean, okay, okay. No, now this being a game, game. Um, yeah. So, uh, D Sir Dust. What? Um. So next time we have an assassin, can you please um try to keep them in one piece so that we can identify them? I know you were trying to protect me, and I thank you for that, but... Dust is I... just going to be blinking at him with this, like, as a matter of fact kind of face. He, he, he's just going to be like, I have been having a very, very rough day. I agree I got... with you. I'm having a rough day as well. By a bandit? And I'm not too happy about that. You're going to have to tell me how you got attacked by bandits. I as well, uh, says Lieutenant <laughs> Watson. Uh, he does look towards the area and he simply states, I highly doubt this is all of you. Where is your... Uh, I don't know if Ada is shorter than uh, Dust. Other companion? I... I, I don't know. She she needed to clear her head. I, I There is some more intense things going on right now between us so yeah unfortunately i am not known for my sympathy or empathy uh and he just more or less shouts out uh casting uh thaumaturgy on his voice will miss ada report to the frontal group as soon as possible you have around five minutes before we come looking for you thank you <sighs> Are they going to, if I don't come, are they just going to assume that I was captured? Yeah. Mm, they, they might assume, like, you're, like, leaving. Yeah, yeah, they'll, like, they won't hunt you down to the end of the earth. It's more like they're going to find you eventually. <laughs> yeah. Like, you've met uh, Watson. He's a nice enough guy, but... And he would be told the current predicament and incident, and he wants verification for people. He knows you're not the bad guy. Uh, but at the exact same time, he needs uh, to question you. <laughs> that being said, though, you right. don't have to go. Can I, make a, can I make a check to see how long it would take for Ada to calm down for a moment? At least. Yeah. This would probably be a wisdom check. 
It's n okay. Let's we'll see what that's like. Okay, never mind. Okay. Wait, so I just press one stem or do oh, I? It wasn't save. Okay. What oh my gosh. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> this honestly okay. does make sense. Uh, you've just had so much bad things happen to you. Amara, your friends, hunted down, those bandits that almost killed dust, or at least paralyzed them. Uh, and then now Nikolai potentially becoming more demonic. What's that all about? Weren't we not keeping secrets anymore? Like, you're so wrapped into it that you're not really paying attention to your surroundings or when someone's shouting in the background. That is, like, nothing to you. Fair enough. You know what? Fair. Fair. Yeah. That being the case, though, you're not going to go to jail or whatever. It's just they're going to look for you later. Okay. Uh, Watson then states after, like, five minutes do end up, and you guys more or less are quiet. Uh, um, Watts, Winston... You, you, j j Weston, sorry. Uh, is it Weston, Watson, or It Winston? is Weston. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, when Winston, Weston, uh, I don't know. Sir, she's not gonna, she, she, she's a little bit out of her mind right now, or at least out of the, the space of that she needs, she needs to clear her head. There's a lot going on. Nikolai, regardless of where she's going, she, we do have to stay here and go through procedure correct I, and by that hand we will look for her later do not worry about that and that being the case we will go with our first proctoring here before we head anywhere else we will give her some time uh, he then goes over the process of what exactly happened and unless Nikolai lies you just tell the story <laughs> <sighs> so do you um, lie? <laughs> do I lie partially or do I lie at all? Either. Um, so... so if you story... do lie, uh, he'll just accept what happens. If you do, you need to roll. Um, so basically... Uh, I would say... We were walking through the court, and then all of a sudden, there was a shot, and then someone got hit. I got hit with a dart, and then we noticed there were people on the roof, and then Jillian got a hat, uh, got hit hard, and then she tried to climb the building, and then I decided to fly and chase after or attack one on the roof. And I don't think I'm going to leave anything out other than the fact that, like, uh, I didn't know what happened after I was unconscious, I guess. So. Yeah. Like, things you aren't actually aware of. Yeah. Okay. So, so basically, yeah, this whole, basically the basic story. So. Yeah. But I, I try to not point out any kind of things about the demonic thing i mean i know that i flew but like uh, there was a point where i kind of wasn't really i was half me and half not me so it's kind of like a little fuzzy there so for sure you were you when you were flying when i mean were... i'm talking about when i attacked the one guy that's what i'm talking about around that point yeah you were in a mix of things yeah okay uh, I don't think anyone currently there can verify that section other than the man that's dead. <laughs> so that I mean, I think. Do you have, uh, honestly though, um, I mean, I don't know about how viable this is as an option, but, uh, he, is there a way that you can speak with dead? That's a good a roundabout way of saying the spell without saying the spell that your character wouldn't know. I mean, there uh, is another man that's on the roof that isn't torn to shreds. Can you interrogate somebody when they're already dead? None of our agents right now are necromancers. There are some clerics here and there, but none of them have that type of spell. Unfortunately, I am not 
aware of magic enough to know if such a spell exists, but I will look into it, Nikolai. That being the case, though, he then interrogates everyone else. Uh, does anyone change his story? Uh, well, specifically Dust. Um, I will change it ever so slightly so that because after reading this letter, it's like, yeah, no, like, we were making a deal with this and come to find out he's supplying weapons to some group and I will actually hand over the letter that we found, the, the note that we found on Bentar. Okay. And I have to ask this. Does, I don't think so, but does your character wear gloves? I know Nikolai's character doesn't. Wait, I did wear gloves when I had my hand messed up, but then don't I don't have that hand anymore. So I stopped wearing gloves. Okay. Okay, I'll ask you. Wouldn't and I'm not saying it's a good thing or a bad thing. Do you wear gloves? I I think Dust would wear gloves. Yeah, he would be wearing gloves. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he does call for one of his officers to come and take it. He bags and tags it easily enough. Uh, and like I mentioned beforehand, Nikolai, does your character wear gloves? Um, I would say that. He might wear, like, those, uh... <sighs> Depends on what he's doing. If he's, like... You were just, if, quite literally, was, out on a date with your girlfriend. He would probably... He would not be. If he was, like, out, like, in... Like, on the road, probably. But not, you know. Yeah, that checks out. Uh, He bags and tags this uh, letter. Uh, Jillian does take to note... Uh, this letter was also identified on the corpse's body. However, uh, contamination has already processed through. We can attempt a scrying spell, but right now it is likely at half possibility. Very well, then. Uh, another agent bags and tags it. And then with the stories told, Whisper, Fauna, uh, Opo tell their bit, which is no alterations. Uh, and then uh, he does look towards Jillian. Uh, Jillian tells the full truth, nothing but the truth, and honestly, nothing had altered other than the fact that uh, she and her team tried to find him as soon as Nikolai flew into the air. Afterwards, they discovered him unconscious, uh, negotiating, and the like. Well, uh, Weston then states, yes, we were able to determine that by the agents you sent out to look for the other individual. Sadly, they were not able to discover them. Uh, but we are still investigating this matter at hand. Very well, then. Uh, one of you seem to be telling a lie. Uh, and then it hits you. You're not really sure how we would know that, but something about him was odd to begin with in the first place. Very well. Sir Nikolai, Sir Dust, Miss Fauna, Miss Whisper, and Opal. Why didn't I get a miss? Miss Opal, thank you. Well, I do thank you to try to deal with the situation at hand. I am aware that you are acting agents in the kingdom. Try not to get in the way as much as possible. But I do thank you for your contribution to this matter at hand. If you had not, then perhaps one of my agents would be dead right now. So I do thank you for that. I would hope that if this happens again, you detain said individual rather than blowing up their head. If you would. I glance at dust. I don't care who did it. Just in general. Sorry, we're just used to more of slaughtering our our opponents just because of the nature of our job. That's so. also very concerning. That being the case, though, a helpful hint, maybe don't do that to everyone. You might be able to get information from them. I don't know. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you, if you're in my city, try not to do that here. If it can be avoided. You got it. All right. All right, then. Uh, you're all free to go. We're going to collect the body and collect the armaments other than the things you have already shown us. 
Uh, he then states towards Dust, this missive that you delivered to us, was it on this person or the one you stated beforehand? Is that to me? Uh, Dust. Hmm. There will be, I'll, I'll, I'll essentially mention it, it was on this person and in, in where I found it. Yeah. All right. We'll be looking into that matter at hand. Uh, uh, highway bandits. They are more and more frequent in these last couple of weeks. I, Hopefully it's not a concern, but... The, I, I want to say, strange thing is, they were carrying weapons that are much too strong for them. Um, there is a battle axe and, I'll, and a long sword, and I'll essentially tell them about the plus two battle yeah. axe and the plus two long sword and it's like in my experience typically bandits wouldn't carry weapons like this no unfortunately though in the upcoming weeks before this there were a few incidents that caused potential risk factors to go awry uh namely the smuggling and import and export of illegal uh spell scrolls uh to underground merchants and charmers and enchanters more than likely, this is a probable altered effect due to this, and hired muscle needs higher stances of attacking. That being the case, though, if they're now in the general public, we now have a potential risk of the civilian sort. I'll look into this. Thank you, Mr. Dust. You're welcome. If more and more people are getting their hands on these magical armaments, it could lead to more danger to the public. Uh, first spell scrolls, and now this. All right. Before you give me any more headaches, and before I head out, is there one more headache you have to give me, or am I free to go? Um, not of any aware of any other headaches. Can, if you remember can them, I, can I be reimbursed? Looks towards you. <laughs> For, uh, I'm holding all of the stuff that are that the bur the guy that attacked me pinned me to the ground, and N then N N Nikolai, I'll, I'll that and I have my fault. We will supply you with a bag, regular bag. Yes, I, 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 I will, I will solve this issue, Nikolai. Fine. This is one it's of the lucky. reasons why I don't would rather not you interfere if your items are so precious did, to did, you. Did I try to get shot? Did I try to attack somebody? Yes. Quite literally. Yes, I did. I could I who What am I gonna am I gonna run away? That, what kind of person what does that? Someone that values their life. Okay. Uh, I, have a good day, sir. I, I, right. Thank you for the interrogation. All right. Bit of advice. There are probable reasons for you to run away. Only someone that wants a death sentence goes in without any information. So, though, live your life. And then begins to head out. Uh, one of the guards does come over to give you a bag. Uh, here you go, sir. Have a great day. Uh, comes back to, uh, Weston. Uh, he then Hi. orders some of his guards to go and locate, uh, Ada and get her testimony. Can I give the guard that gave me a bag an intimidating look? You can, but nothing's going to happen. You can, nothing's going to happen. <laughs> let, you see him walk away shaking, but like nothing happens other than you being rude to him. Uh, looking towards Jillian, he does state, uh, please report as soon as possible. You are on your off day right now, but with this at hand, we need to investigate as promptly. Uh, very well then, sir. Right. Do enjoy the rest of your day. And they head out. Ah, uh, like 10 minutes <laughs> later, Ada, Gosh. you are <laughs> found oh. by a few guards. 
Uh, some of the guards do look toward you. <laughs> Around three of them. Okay, I heard that incorrectly for a second. Like, okay, never mind. Sorry, go ahead. No, oh, like, three guards find you. Like, they surround yeah, you, but I... not in the way of about to attack you. It's more like they were looking for you and they found you. Yeah, okay. Represented that with this one guard. Uh, this guard comes over towards you, noticing you heavily depressed, but also needed to look for you. Uh, does state, uh, pardon me, ma'am. Oh, uh, sorry for the bother. We were instructed to find you and get your testimony on the situation at hand. If this is a bad time, we can wait a bit and get it later. But we do need to get it by today. You know what? Let's just, let's just get it over with. So I won't be bothered by it anymore. It is going to just tell the honest truth. She's not going to lie about anything. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for that. We will look into it as soon as possible. And hopefully we can help out your friend and the finger thing. Uh, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, that being the case, though, there might be a way. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, for that type of thing to be taken care of, if you can find an entity strong enough to do it. Uh, so we'll look into that, so no need to be too disconcerned about it. I am sure your local officers can help you out. Right. Uh, thank you. Right. Uh, please have the best day as possible, and uh, if you need any help, just let us know. They begin to head up. Okay. It's going to still just try to clear her head. She's not going to go back to the party yet. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yep. Is it... Do we need to take a break, Dogma? Oh, I thought I heard A to say yeah. something. Uh, that being no. the case, though, uh, we will take our five-minute break before we continue again. <laughs> cool. All right. Okay. I'll be right back. Well, Nikolai didn't die.
kill on the one on the one. Which is why oh, yeah. he was more or less like very willing to have Ada be in the bubble or attempt to be in the bubble because he could probably like murder Nikolai, murder you as easy as possible. But you know, yeah. because he failed his wisdom save, <laughs> that that tracks. His, <laughs> his overconfidence was his downside. I mean, honestly, though, I mean, I'm surprised he was so like composed in that situation. He was just holding. Oh, yeah. He's like holding a person down, looking at guards stuck in a cube. Has a has like a whole crowd of people around him, and he and he's still able to concentrate. Makes yeah. sense. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna lie. When I saw um, the roll for the what to save, I only saw the two. It's like, oh my god, he actually got an at twenty, but I was wrong immediately. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, time, time to see well, how Nikolai is dead and dying inside. <laughs> <laughs> they all need therapy. Oh God. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me know when you guys are ready. Ready. I'm ready. Ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> True enough. Hi. Right. Yes. Uh. Going to the hand uh, that you were dealt, you return back to, well, this environment. After uh, Lieutenant Weston did walk away, giving you more or less not subtle advice whatsoever, uh, you find yourselves alone once more. Ada is currently MIA, but, you know, she's in down. She wouldn't have left. After all, you are still working together. Uh, Jillian does take note of all of you, and she does state, uh, Thank you for helping out, but try not to cause any trouble while here. I think that's yes. I will. We'll, we'll, we'll try. And... We'll try, but we can't make any promises. Uh, I understand. Um, <laughs> yes. I've heard stories. Well, it is good to see you, Dust. It has been a little bit of time since we've seen each other. So. Oh, oh, you want to see the blade? Do what? Do you want to see the blade? I finished it. it oh. Out. Wait, wait! You, I thought you needed to give it to to Bentar, right? Yeah, he did. Says Opal. Yeah, I did give it to him. Wait, what? Uh, what did you do? Nothing we can say legally in front of a cop. All we can say is that Ada's, rolls his con eyes. Ada's contract has been fulfilled as well. Okay, well, I guess that's off my conscience now, so I can say that I did something helpful, at least. Hooray? Not really sure what you mean by that. Uh, whisper. Jillian, <laughs> um, I, I think um, I'm going to catch up with these guys for now. Um, of course, I need to put in my, file my report in anyways. Um, yeah, I give her like a, I don't know, like a, I don't know, some kind of like our uh, normal... Like a hug or something, and then just like say, I'll meet you again later today and leave. All right. Uh, she gives you a hug back uh, and begins to head out. Whisper then looks towards you. For a second there, it felt like you were trying to curtsy towards her. I Is know that like the first time you told her, you, you know, you were together together? I also, congratulations. A demon, I have a demon hand I can smack you with, you know? And I have a lot of knives. We all mm. have things we can hit each other with. Mm. Not in the mood today. Let's wait till tomorrow. Then we can be at a, each other and taunt and be happy. But right now, I really don't want to talk about it. Yeah, fair enough. We're trying to lighten the mood. Anyways, looks towards Dust. Yeah, uh, Dust got his weapon back. Don't ask any questions when you want to, and there's no longer a guard here. Yeah. So now I can sell it. Um, and I actually have two, because first time I tried to make the blade um, did not quite meet up to my expectation, what I wanted, my, my standards, but 
We do not. I do not have a set of blades that can be sold. Oh, okay. Well, although without, can I look at them? Things are in here. I don't think I missed. Oh yeah, and um, I'll I'll pull it out and. By this point, I would have also had a scabbard. I would have also had a scabbard made for the other blade. I would like to inspect yeah. them. So, oh yeah, no, here. Mm. Thus, we'll pull them both out. And... Mm, interesting. You inspect uh... them, and they are quite intricate and beautiful. They do possess uh, various auras of magic, which is nearly impossible unless you have a very good expert. And through the trials that Dust has gone through, he is pretty much that now. Uh, his skills have far surpassed the last time you saw him, and vis-a-vis, -vis, he does tell you, you know, what the things do. So you know mm. what they do. Hmm. Wow. That, uh, that is very nice. Even if I was able to use this blade, it would probably be very, it's even easy to swing, even though I don't even really know how to use this type of sword very well, so... Yeah. So, but I, I can definitely make s similar weapons in the future. It'll just be very difficult for. It'll just take some time to make them. Uh, what's for yes. the state? Or if you want, like a battle axe, we stole one from a dead guy. Yeah. Uh, and a, a, a long sword too. Another long sword. But <sighs> man, I miss uh, miss Jillian already. Okay, um, can we go get a drink or something? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, we I, also I, have I, to kind of get a place to stay. So yeah. So but, I'm not um, sure where you've been staying, but above game dogma. Where have I been spending my evening? Or like, just do I did I rent some place or did you I have, have like? like uh had an inn uh jillian does have a side home that she uses for you know business and stuff okay. uh like if you wanted to not spend any money hmm. uh that'd be i, mean, case, I might though. have spent like evenings or like ha ha like spent like afternoons or like evenings at her like side home and then i would see her more often and then then i wouldn't have to walk as often but something like i don't know maybe more i would probably have had more of a like a schedule or something depending i probably worked out something i don't know in particular but yeah like yeah. you could have also like put a gold down for like the month at an inn you're staying yeah in. and then i mean uh, gold isn't that much i probably could have like just did it on the like did something on the fly and then have like if we wanted to spend time like yeah yeah for sure uh you put a deposit down for a month like in case you need to stay somewhere you definitely have that uh, you spent time with Jillian as well at the, I say side home, but technically it's a safe house that, you know, ah, okay. you can use. Uh, all the while, though, you definitely have a place to go if you want to. And you guys have been here before. You can find the well, <laughs> you normally frequent. Let's, uh, yeah, I, I, I would like to go grab a beverage and some food. Let's, let's head back. Uh, Fauna does state. Uh, and Ada? We can. She'll she'll turn up. I think she needs some time still. Uh, Opal does stay. Uh, I guess she does uh, have her look, sending stone now, so I guess that makes sense. Oh, so we yeah. have sending stones now. Oh, yeah, we have sending stones. So okay. yeah, no. So we can talk to each other whenever. Well, if the uh, other person you know answers. Yeah. Yeah. Can just ignore you. Yeah. Oh well, no. Okay. Yeah, the sending stones basically work as, uh, you know, sending stones, but the like way they're just walkie-talkies, kind of like walkie-talkies, like, kind of walkie-talkies to a degree. <laughs> uh, the way they're inscribed, though, they only communicate with each other or the ones that they are inscribed with. Uh, that symbol is lit up, and if you know the symbol it belongs to, you know who's talking to you. You can just straight up ignore that person if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, basically caller ID. <sighs> okay. Well, what do you want to do? I mean, I I would like to get some food, or actually more more importantly, a drink. But and maybe uh, 
a nice place to rest. I, I don't know. It, it's not, I think it's, I don't know what, what is it? It looks like it's noonish. I don't even know what time it is. It's probably around 5 p.m. I, I mm. did state that they were taking, surprisingly enough, a lot longer than you expected. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, you guys begin to head out and head towards the inn you frequent when you're in town, which is surprisingly enough a lot more than I expected. <laughs> huh. One second while I clean that map up. <laughs> Jonathan? Yeah, the goblin. Oh, the boy. Jonathan with a G. <laughs> okay. Uh, copy and paste. Oops. I overshot it. And street. I probably should move you there. Yeah. <laughs> Could help. Uh, as you begin to make way there, you remember that, you know, you probably put down the gold for Jonathan's place. Let's be honest. Uh, or like mm. somewhere else. It's entirely up to you. Jonathan is very, yeah. very cheap. So why would you Persuasive. go anywhere else? Maybe. Yeah. I think it's the first time Fawn has been here, but everyone else has been here before. Mm. Yes. Oh, well, yeah, it is. No, no, no. Fawn has been here. Because yeah. we picked her up in the capital. Control Z. Will they still show up? Place mm. of Fawn was near. I, I, yeah, yeah. I don't so, remember. Honestly, because I just... Massive Wait, no, deleted. Was there too. No, you're right. Okay, Sorry, cool. Yeah, yeah. We we picked her up in the capital. We went through the great forest, and then, and we, then we came to Hythe. Spent a little time here, mm -hmm. and then we went over to uh, Dawn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, honestly, I just uh, dragged and clicked all your tokens and deleted them when they were in the map. I did not nice. pay attention to who was here. Okay, so you all were here beforehand. Uh, so you go to the bar you, you know, are aware of. The one bar that you almost blew up with fire and then ice. I wonder if they recognize me. And I uh, the 20 year old bartender. Uh, so European bartender does look towards you. Oh, welcome back. It's been months. Yeah, it's been a good time. It's been months. Mm. Yeah. Uh, anything really? I don't really care. I'll I'll buy for them too if they want anything. The people that just walked in. Sure. Uh, let's see. A round for the table. It's probably going to cost you around five silver. Oh, okay. Here's a gold. Sure. Thanks for the yeah. tip. Uh, she begins to make your pitcher and then gives you cups and the entire thing. All right. Don't trip. The five feet you need to travel. Okay, thank you. Nikolai, roll a dexterity saving throw. I'm just kidding. Oh, uh, you I'm want me to? Pretty sure you can do it. Yeah, roll it for fun. Um, You're fine. Does... <laughs> I, I will be going in and talking to Jonathan. Uh, and, does uh, breaks through a window. A classic. Oh, we. It's always a classic. <laughs> always the door. With this, it's always the window. <laughs> This in. <laughs> I literally put people in front of it so you wouldn't do it anymore. You found a way. <laughs> he still did it. I went to the bear, to the just the right yeah. of the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyways, uh, Jonathan Goblin looks towards you. Oh, uh, just. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> okay, got it. It's been months, man. I, I don't remember everyone. Everyone I know. So, uh, room. Rooms. Uh, there are six of us. So. Did you get more people when I wasn't looking? Uh, actually, we, we lost one since the last time we were here. Oh. Uh. Sorry yeah, to hear that. We here... I wasn't that close to you guys, anyways. Yeah, so, but it is hard, but, but oh, we no. shall be back. But yeah, no, just came back at, to to, re, to continue our patronage here, so. Oh, uh, always welcome. I mean, when your friend comes back, I thought, you know, death was the thing. 
Yeah, yeah, sure. When she comes back, she can have a room too. I don't care. Patronage is patronage. Okay. Right. Uh, you said six people. That is a copper for the night. It's not seasonal right now, so it is two coppers per night. Okay. Um, we might be here. We pro- we might be here a couple of day- days. Um, and like I don't know, uh, silver, maybe two. What's a couple to you? Technically, it's two. Yeah, probably at least a week. Then, like, two silver, I guess. Are, uh, are you going to pay? Uh, <laughs> you have to leave sooner? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I can give you, like, you leave- your change back. No, no, keep, you can keep it. Uh, and if we stay longer, I'll give you more. I mean, that's how it works. That's commerce. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll start off with three and then. Yeah, that's fine. Like More it. money for me. Yeah. You treat us good here, so. Yeah. Feel free to have some of the buffet. It's all fruits and vegetables. This man <laughs> never puts meat out. It's very Fruit protein and heavy. Right. Uh, Not protein, sorry. Uh, protein. Vitamin heavy. Uh, and, and if I remember correctly, some of it is uh, gone uh, a little bit rancid. Not rancid. It's very stale. Okay. Uh, the bananas are more brown than, you know, uh, yellow, though. Uh, I'll, I'll get the keys to the rooms and... Yeah, he gives you the keys. Uh, he gives you a total of six of them. There's only dun, 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 ten rooms here, so you basically collect the first floor. <laughs> Well, second floor. This is technically the first floor. Second floor, all basically all to yourselves. Yep. Hey, uh, if you need anything, just let me know. I'm here doing paperwork all day. Uh, there's really nothing going on in town right now. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's been pretty peaceful. The only thing that recently happened is, you know, the next semester of Magic School did start. Well, just... It wouldn't be called Magic School, but that's the only thing I can think of how he would call it. The Magic School did start, so some of the kids are gone right now. I think the mayor's kid and, like, a few others that I know. Hmm. That's good to hear. Yeah. Okay. Well, let us know if there is anything that you hear that pops up. Eh, sure. It'll be the first or the second. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh-huh. And th- th- then I'll, I'll return back and be like, okay, I got additional rooms for us. And so. Uh, you give everyone their keys and hold on to Ada's. Uh, whisper Dusty. Yeah, okay. Uh, if you want, I can fence your swords or, you know, you can sell them by yourself. It all depends on how well you're able to sell things, Dust. Uh, other than that, I don't know. A good, just solid week of doing nothing sounds good to me. Or, you know, whatever um, you guys intend to do. Not sure we're going to be doing nothing. Or whatever you're intending to do. I mean... I'm not going to tell you I, how to lead your life, Nikolai. Clearly, you don't listen to anyone. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, I, you finally learned something. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. That was not the response you should have said, but okay. I think we might have to end. We we might end up helping a little bit in the city, but a week does sound good here. I mean, you told us you spent for about a week, so you know. Yeah, about a week, and then personally, I'd like to spend some time with Emily since. All right. Um, that I was don't even know who that thing. is. I also don't know. Who is an Emily? That was Nikolai, or uh, sorry, that was Dust. Uh, was the person you your relationship friend? It, yes, it was the 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 oh, and... woman that I met last time that we were in the city. You were dating? Yeah. Whis- whisper, whisper. Sorry, I, 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 I don't know if I came off a little bit more. Aggressive. I think I that was, um, this. I, there's a lot going on. 
it wasn't aggressive, Nikolai. It was more concerned that it was true and you agreed on it. I was being, like, sarcastically condescending. You didn't come that way to me, but sure. Okay. Anyways, here to help if you need it. Uh, but yeah, wake sounds good. Uh, congratulations, um, Dust, by the way. Did not expect that. Just thought it was a, you know, friend you made in town. Yeah. Um, although, regarding the, the weapons, I don't want to fence the weapons in this city right now. Just because of what is going on. Because these the weapons that we got off the bandits, they're much too nice for regular bandits. Mm. We got them from somewhere. That's fair. Uh, either that or no. they got very lucky one day. So, but I do want I do want to sell a lot of these items and all it'll essentially be the items that um we got from the treasure trove uh um, yeah you are correct uh anna val was supposed to meet you she hasn't yet for some reason she was supposed to meet you guys at dust's uh home city in fact uh, we had let her know that we'd be there for about a month and a half to two months. So. Yeah, and that time did pass and she never met you. Maybe she couldn't uh, meet you guys or something mm -hmm. of the sort. Yeah, that's what we're thinking. So. Yeah. Uh, that is the thing that should or could have happened, but didn't or has not. Maybe something's holding up. You're not entirely sure, because she doesn't have a sending stone. She sent a bird. <laughs> or you sent a bird. Are we, um... Oh, wait, you used the scrying uh, mirror. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we sent the scrying mirror message, so... Yeah. But she, she does have a sending stone for her among the twelve. That I made. Yeah. That I had that I had made. When it's prepared but hasn't been delivered. Yes. Uh, sorry, I <laughs> lost track. Uh Dust, you were saying. Okay. Um yeah. <clears throat> But yeah, no, let's let's see what goes on. There's something going else, but uh but yeah, no, I want to get I want to sell the items that I um fi fixed up. Um, that we got from the treasure trove and get some more income. That way we can get some... I, I need to be making a lot of project. I mean, crap, uh, jewelry and other items. So, because I think that's the biggest thing that I need to do for my contract with Madame Ziri. So... I just need to make it more of a name for myself. So, uh, trying oh, to like for sure, you would have had time to do some of that stuff, but not everything. Dust uh, before you yeah. get, got here. We have yeah. paper. If you bought paper, we just we we'll just get some paper. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty good at like making. Wait, can you can you draw opal? Uh, some here and there? Like, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean, if Dust is trying to make a name for himself, why don't we just, like, draw a cool picture of him and then put, like, the the egg in front of him and be like, come see the magnificent crafter Dust among the Dust. I, I don't know. Else, like, something like that. And then it's like, it has all of the things that he has made and it like lists them out and it shows like 
you could may have an item made from dust or i don't know i mean cool for something like that. like that we would need like a bard and like a group of bards to be sent out and scattered in the world or something like that or you know Sweet. talk with someone we know the only bards we to knew. make the poster in general what? like i'm not the best artist but you know i can make magical symbols and stuff i can make uh, a cubism get... picture of dust but that's about it yeah they're they're getting my 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 maker's mark out there and... well you have a pretty good bark you already gave it to the king it's not like you don't have a, a mark it's just that people don't know about you yet yeah no that's what i'm saying and so there's a difference of... between making someone know that you exist and making someone know that you have talent and part of that is also me using my craft. And so I have, I'm also having to develop, I, I have an idea of what I need to do, what I can do to. Just retreat. trying to help. Oh yeah, no. And, and I thank you for that. But I, it's more of, I need to get out a lot of things. So maybe what I will do. Maybe you have too many plans and you're getting ahead of yourself. Maybe true. Uh, oh, what did I but say? I, I don't know. Sorry, sorry, I was sneezing. So oh. <laughs> I said I, I, I was finishing my sins. No. Yeah. Uh, all the way through, Opal does state. Uh, either way, it would help to you know spread the word around. Yeah, the king knows it. But the king doesn't speak with everyone every day. Yeah. Couldn't hurt. I mean, the, only, the only people that are going to see that egg are the ones that the king invites into his castle. Uh, and they well, like... Yeah. I mean, those are the most prominent people, so... Presumably, it would help. But, you know, the day-to-day -day person... Is the most beneficial to spread the word around. Mm. Yeah. Um, I think maybe one thing that I will do is here. Like, oh, here. I mean, you did make a spectacle of yourself also. So why don't you just make a like an event for crafting something in the future? That didn't, that's another idea. That is the one thing. Yeah. Uh, right now, uh, Dust, your name is very well known through among the highest nobles and some of the military leaders because you quite literally won uh the uh enchanters uh contest at the festival of complete never going to festivals again uh <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. The, the, the 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 craft the craft the craftsman section of a of the festival in a particular city and so yeah but they came into the city as well so but again you found two circles but the main one you likely would need uh, to have your name be spread out even faster would be the general populace. Um, I think maybe what I'll do is I'll go to the uh, Jewelers Guild uh, and see if there's any commissions, uh, potentially. Um, maybe I'll actually even go over to the Tinkerers Guild and sign up there. Yeah. Actually, I think that might be a good idea. So, yeah. Mm. Uh, well. think, <laughs> thinking on this and saying it out loud, uh, Whisper does state, uh, I still have a few contacts that haven't reported back, but I should, I should probably do that as well. Ooh. Ah. Uh, maybe Nikolai gives like a weird grin to Whisper. Oh, come on, come on! You know what I'm thinking, Whisper. And Nikolai. Okay. Uh, Let, let's uh, let's try not to do any espionage no. while we're here for right now, unless you need help, right? I'm gathering data and files. This is oh, it... some of the boring stuff with espionage work. I'm not fighting people. I'm not murdering someone around the corner. I'm not... literally gathering information. But. Uh... Okay. You can help if I'll you just... want to, but I'm just getting documents. Okay, I'll just sit here and drink my beer. 
Whisper then just like looks at you dumbfoundedly. Nikolai, you have a girlfriend. You've been in this town for a month. What did you do besides you... drinking? You can still do that. Well, I just got to see you guys again and I almost died. You're welcome to come along. It's just very boring work. Whisper, I missed you. I missed all of you. I'm not saying it back. I already said you're welcome to come. Oh, but then looks towards you. I think that's kind of her way of saying it. <laughs> Well, I think we're. I think I we would have... love to join doing your boring intel work. Yeah, sure, whatever. It does. Yeah. You were saying. Uh, yeah, I think that's good, and uh, it's kind of late to go into the jewelers' guild, and we right, like go to the guilds for me, and it's. We, we've been traveling all day. So. Yeah, it's it's not closing hours, but it'd be for sure like working hours for people that are working into the night. Yeah. And so, like, uh, I'm just going to wait until morning to go to the to the guilds. Yeah. Uh, while you're more or less resting, uh, Nikolai, where are you heading off to? I was going to ask her if she had any coffee. No. Do you have any coffee? Uh, n no. What? This is a bar. Most people either drink water, alcohol, or, I don't know, carbonated water. You have something that's going to give me, like, energy? I can get I you know. a barley tea. What? What? Tea? You know, the plants that you, like, either grind up or, like, Soak in water um, so it gives it flavor. I was thinking more like on the lines of uh, like a magical, like something that's more like I don't know, like a pep drink or something. I, what do you get? Uh, an do... alchemist recently is trying to sell these things. Like, he she shows you uh, like a bottle, uh, he calls it soda. So duh. Okay, can I try it? You want? Like, it's very hard to sell them, so I like give it to you for a copper. Okay, I get I give her a copper. Uh she takes it, she hands you the soda. <laughs> okay. Uh, what does it taste like? It tastes like a uh cola or a coke or a Pepsi, whatever your preferred beverage is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is very hyperactive and you do regain uh if you, you know, oh, yeah, you very much are hurt. Uh, you do regain 1d6 points of health back. Oh. Uh, four. Yeah. Uh, these, however, can only be used once a day. So okay. you can't buy 20 of them. <laughs> well, you can, <laughs> but she only has five of them. But Oh. Uh, I mean, you can if you want to, but, you know, uh, they're very nice, but they don't last all day. Gotcha. Yeah. It's still like a variant health potion, not okay. as strong as a health potion. That's still pretty. I thought it'd be like a, I thought it'd be like a health potion with like a, you get five extra movement for an hour. It's more like you're down, but you're not fully out, so it picks you back up by a little bit. Mm. Uh, you know what? I'll give it three different potential sets of things it can do. Uh, oh. so you can roll d4, and this is the type of effect it'll do. One will give you, uh, one will give you, uh, 1d6 points of health. Uh, two will give you five, uh, extra feet of movement. And a three will give you both. So, you know, you have five oh. extra feet of movement. Wow. For the next hour. Oh. <laughs> and four is just a reroll. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? Four is nothing. You get nothing oh. out of it. Sometimes, you know, soda or uh, coffee don't really do anything for you. So four yeah. is nothing. Gotcha. Cool. Okay. Well, I'll yeah, I'll uh, leave it at that and then leave with Whisper whenever she goes. Uh, 
I mean, I was going to wait to tomorrow, but sure, we can go today. Whatever. Oh, I thought you were leaving today. Oh. No, what this is you? planning for the future. I'm not good at... <sighs> okay. Teach me how to plan. That's a great lesson. I like that lesson. <laughs> we yeah. can go today. It's fine. I don't care. <laughs> In the meantime, though, uh, before she says anything else, you do see, like, wisps of wind coming over towards you, and you only see three of them uh, head your way, Dust. Uh, you're not sure when, but... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, uh, I think I'm doing the math, right? Uh, three of them, sorry, five of them, you've summoned eight, uh, got dispelled. Or got hurt enough that they dispelled. Uh, they do come back and they give you know that they weren't able to find anything. Uh, but one of them was able to see that, uh, or take note, that some of your wisps headed into the sewers. They don't know where they went because you don't. They don't track each other twenty four seven. But that's likely the last place they were. They were at before they got unsummoned. Okay, and then I'll just kind of return them back and the ones that are left, and I'll make note of that, and then um. Yeah, uh, the bartender does state. No summoning or unsummoning or casting spells in my bar. Especially your group. Please and thank you. You may have paid for yeah. the damages you caused last time, but I'd rather not have that again because of you guys. I am stuck here until the next semester. Rather continue my studies. I thought we paid for it. Yeah. Oh, you did, but right before I could qualify for class, so I couldn't take the test. Don't worry about it. I can take it, retake it in three months. Actions have consequences, but not that high for her. It's like three months. Yeah. Uh, she also okay. doesn't want to be responsible for, you know, more magic being cast in this area. Yeah, and then I I want I feel kind of guilty, but I'm not going to move any further. So um with that, Dust is like, well, it's been a long day. I'm tired. Yeah. I won't. Fair enough. Uh Opal then states. Yeah. True enough. Uh, I'll go look for Ada. Hopefully she's okay. Uh, do you mind giving me her sending stone? Okay. All right, I can give All her right. mine, no. I guess. No, no, no. Here you go, Opal, and I'll get hand one to Opal, and then one to Whisper too. Um, and we would have already merged them, and then I'd give the things for. Yeah, you would have all inscribed. Uh, your symbols with each other's. Yeah. And you would have made a symbol for Ada and inscribed it as well. Uh, she does look towards all of you. Okay, do what you need to do. I'll go find Ada, and hopefully she hasn't summoned assassins on herself, or I don't know, summoned more danger to herself. I don't know. She's, other than Dust, she's more or less the sensible one. Ada, you have summoned like a statue next to yourself because you walked this way after cooling your head down. Oh, and I find that everyone is gone. Everyone's including, gone. <laughs> including the body. Including okay. the body. The area was <laughs> scrubbed clean and there's like small little uh, notes and signs in the area that says don't uh, touch this area currently under investigation. All uh, potential contaminations will be qualified for potential risk factors and will be seized and or incarcerated for the following time and it gives you like a time frame of two weeks so you know mm -hmm. don't touch the potential evidence or else you'll go to jail got it all right Ada would not touch any of the evidence because she doesn't want to go to jail for a crime she technically didn't commit 
Yeah, it's she more or less just. It. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's more or less just potentially uh, tampering with evidence, mm -hmm. which is a crime. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah. Uh, you like look for a few people here and there to see if uh, they know where your friends are at, or you know if they saw them. Uh, you're not fully calmed down for sure, but you are calmed enough that, you know, you can meet back with your teammates. Uh, one person does come towards, uh, well, it, they do come forward. I think you've met them before. Yes? Hmm. There's so many people that Ada has met. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you yeah, have. I'm like... You've met Emily, right? Uh, which is Dust's friend. Mm, I don't think she has. You've seen her. You've seen I've her. I've seen her, but I believe they haven't had an interaction or Dust hasn't uh, introduced. That's fine. Emily. She's very friendly anyways. Yeah. So, like, you've yeah. seen her around. Uh, and she's, like, the closest thing you can tell would know your friends. Uh... Yeah, she comes over without too much of an issue. Uh, you've seen her before, so she might know where your friends are at. Uh, so you like call her over, and she simply states, Oh, can I help you? Oh, uh, I believe I've seen you before. Uh oh, sorry. Uh, I'm usually good with the names. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, my name is Emily. Uh, Emily, it's nice to meet you again. I'm Ada, one of Dust's friends. Oh. By chance, have you seen him? Uh, not for a couple of weeks. Uh, he did make note that he was going to come into town soon. Oh, oh, he's probably in here now. And then I think about it. Uh, if you'd like, I can help you find him. Uh, yes, please. Also, you two can, you know, catch up once we find him. Oh, <laughs> of course. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, if I get my groceries to my uh, accommodations before, though. Oh, no, that that's fine. I should have realized you were doing some shopping. Oh, it's quite all right. You see that she's carrying far more shopping than one person uh, would do allow. You, do you need help? Oh, it's quite all right. I have it. Uh, you're more than welcome to follow me. All right, Ada will follow her. Yeah. Uh, as you follow her, you do see that she comes into a very nice uh, building area. But it's not because, you know, they built it nicely. It's because it's been tended to severely, uh, to an extreme. Various gardens do lie in the area, but various doors. You're not sure which one uh, she goes to. You do know she does make way towards one of them. And before she, like, looks for a key, she just knocks on the door. Uh, she greets the people that come towards the door, which is an elderly couple, maybe around 87 uh, humans. And she, like, begins to talk, shop with them, gives them... Surprisingly enough, a bag of groceries she had on her uh, walks downstairs, continues this like five more times until she goes towards her actual home, uh, goes in, uh, polite to you, invites you in, gives you a cup of tea or coffee, depending on which is your preference or water. Uh, she says hello to her grandma, telling her what's currently happening, and she's going to help you out to find dust. Uh, soon enough, you both head out back into the streets, and she does say, Sorry about that. I didn't expect it to take so long. Do you normally help people out that way? Oh, I'm uh, assuming because you seem to be used to it. Uh, from time to time, I do help out, but uh, I do have my own personal time. Uh, it's not all encompassing. You're not sure if that's a lie or not, but you feel like she helps out a lot. Uh, that being the case, though, she does stay. Uh, but I do try to help out as best I can, especially those that uh, helped raise me. Uh, my grandparents uh, helped raise me when I was a kid. And, well, the neighbors also raised me, so they're kind of like my grandparents, too. Most of them have kids that uh, don't visit anymore, so I want to make sure that they don't feel alone, you know? Um, yeah, I do. I understand that. Yeah. <laughs> Same with some of the kids that uh, lost some of their parents out while they were fighting or safeguarding the town. We want to make sure that we're not alone, especially in life. After all, a stranger's only someone you haven't met yet. And then you meet them. 
media, you do have a point. I can't disagree with that logic. <laughs> uh, but enough about me. Uh, so, uh, as like she's helping, guiding you through the town. Uh, what have all you been up to? I know I've met you once before, but I really didn't get a chance to talk with you. Uh, oh. A lot has happened <laughs> since... I guess we've been here. Um, a lot that I probably am not allowed to talk about. Mainly because it's a lot of heavy damage. She does not. Mm -hmm. uh, she does not, and she does state. Well, if you ever do want to talk about it, I'm more than willing to listen. After all, I don't really know you that much, so I can't really judge you. <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, I kind of went away from the party because, um, they, it got to a point where I got a bit out of hand. I got it set at, uh, Nikolai, I don't believe you met him. He's, he's a good person and I care about him, but he does some reckless things and he doesn't admit them. I want to help him, but it's so hard, and I don't have the time anymore. I'm kind of on the time limit now, and I'm just trying to figure out what to do next. I mean, I lost a lot this past few months. She does not. She doesn't take it, and she do you look at her face, and it's not sympathy. Uh, it's empathy that shows. It's not like a uh, poor thing. It's more like taking it and absorbing it, looking at you, seeing what you're currently in, and empathizing with it. It is some warmth feeling around you when you're speaking with her. It is in all encompassing, inviting, and the more you speak with her, the more it feels like you want to speak with her. It's like a warm. For Ada, it wouldn't be a warm mother's embrace. It'd be. Uh, a very hot meal on a very cold day, something all encompassing and something you needed, something you truly desire, but never really thought that it could come from something so simple. She absorbs it and takes it in, and she doesn't give you advice because she is not choosing, like, your life. She is hearing you out, understanding you, and you can tell that she is not going to give you advice because she would be picking and choosing your life, and you have your own life to lead. And she understands that. Uh, but she does uh, state, I understand. There are some times where it's hard to see someone going through the choices they made. Well, I don't know everything. I do know that you do care for them. And it is very good that you care. But if they continue to make those choices, well, at the end of the day, they're the choices they've made. And you can only do so much for someone that continues to fall or they can help rise themselves up and you can be there after all it is a choice you can make choices I'm not used to making my own choices never been I mainly just follow the crowd I'm more of a sheep than an actual leader I guess she nods <laughs> That's not necessarily a bad thing. You just gotta make sure the one leading the flock isn't someone that'll lead you off a cliff. I mean, does have to let us off a cliff yet, but he has got us hurt at times, but <laughs> he, he's good. He's a good person. I'm not saying anything bad about him. I understand. And I certainly hope he uh, he's a, as kind as I remember him. Uh, you can tell when she's speaking about him, it is a warmth smile that draws over her face. Hopefully we can find them, and hopefully they understand your own uh, position on this. But honestly, if these are the first steps you have taken, these are pretty good steps. After all, not everyone knows where they're going in life, and especially those that are ta just taking their steps forwards. So as long as you continue to take a step forward, it's one step at a time. It's not a marathon. It's not a race. It's a marathon. Sorry, mix those two up. <laughs> <laughs> and as long as you pass, well, you pass all the same. Huh. Well, 
I'm, I'm going to ask this out of context. Is there something going on between you and Dust? I would hope so, but it's nothing official. Are you two dating? We have gone on dates. Oh. Okay, I'm naturally surprised by that. N- not that you found him. I'm surprised that Dust actually gone into a relationship. I oh, mean, he, he was very seems- forward. Uh, <laughs> the first time we met, he uh, came up to me and stated, uh, tonight, meet me here and we can discuss things. He was very adamant about it. Well, that's that's good for him. That's that's good for him. <laughs> she begins to chuckle. Yeah, we should probably find them though. Just saying, I don't know if Dust is in a bad mood. He kind of got hurt <laughs> a bit earlier, and it kind of affected him a little bit. But I think he'll be fine at this point. Oh, uh, it's a good thing I brought some snacks then. Oh, would you like some? Uh, she hands you a cookie. Oh, um, no, no, thank you. I'm fine. She hands you a cookie. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I is going to take the cookie because she's afraid of what's going to happen if she doesn't. She nods <laughs> and begins to walk down the path. Uh, while she's walking down the path, she like turns towards you to say something. Uh, but before she can, she is more or less frozen in place. Uh, looking around, like your past perception can easily see this. Everyone else around you is also frozen in place. Uh, you see that they are moving, but in such a small degree that you really can uh, don't know what they're doing or what they're saying. Uh, and someone does walk in the pathway that you're walking in. Someone you've seen before, but not for a very long time. I'm going to put her over here. You're not dead okay hi i'm sorry that was a very way then to start a conversation i know i've been through a lot uh you look well thank you uh you can tell that her eye like that scarring that happened beforehand is still there uh but she does stay without the conduit it took some time to get here a few hours not really used to that but we may do. You're but... not mad at me, are you? No. Not in the long run, at the very least. We were here to guide and protect you. But ultimately, your choices were your own. We they can were understand. Choices. <laughs> not terrible. And neither misguided as well. Life is a river and sometimes there's a rock in that river it can split the waters or the water can go over it but soon enough that river bed goes into the ocean if you don't understand that's perfectly all right it's a simple metaphor that being the case though no i'm not mad okay i'm assuming you're here because I, well, not myself, but Bentar is dead. Yes, that contract has been fulfilled. Or at least the one, not a contract per se. It was more of a potential deal. You did fulfill it without actually trying to. But I did give my word that it is a possibility. And if you'd like, I can give you back. We, she would say we, because it's more than just her. We can give you back your lost memories. If that is something you still desire. I have a lot of metaphorical holes in my head, including where my memory was. And it would be really nice to at least make sense of something. So I would like to get those memories back, despite how bad they can be. Very well, then. We cannot protect you from anything further anyways, so that decision is your to make. Whether or not it's a good one, it has yet to be seen. 
Oh, and before you ask this, no, I, we cannot help out your friend. They've made their choice, and that part of them that you so disagree with now is a part of them. Only a contractor or a wish spell could remove that. Seriously? You can't even hold it back or anything? We can abide it. Abate. I forget which one is it. abide or abate. Doesn't matter. We can restrain it for a bit. But not forever. And even still, that would require a deal. And that is... That in lies the problem. If they are willing to take it or not. But if I take the deal for them? Then you would pay the consequences. How long would it take for you to hold them back, hold the demon side back, and how long would it last? We would need roughly three days to make a new conduit. Afterwards, it must be placed in his chest. Then we can begin the process of restriction. All the while, though. You must pay the price for that deal. If that is what you seek, or they must. And what would that price be? Something precious. Whether it be memories, someone close to them, something close. Can you... Can you give me a day to talk with him about it? Of course. In the meantime, though, we can give you the memories back if that's what you desire. It yep. was the price you paid when you made our deal. With that gone, I suppose it's not needed anymore. Alright, let's, let's do it then. I don't know, really. If you want to do it here, that's perfectly alright, but you will succumb to the very nature of your memories. And that might not be a pleasant thing in looks towards Emily and like the people around you. Non-comforting area. Can you at least give me a chance to tell... Emily and find a safe place to do it. Very well. Uh, she like takes out what appears to be a pocket watch and like points it towards her and she begins to wind it up. Uh, and then it begins to tick, tick, tick. And then Emily begins to like move faster until she's parallel with your own speed, which just means she's back to normal. Uh, oh, uh, pardon me, miss. Uh, looks towards the rest of the people. Even with a passive, she can tell something's up. I clearly missed something. Okay, uh, long story short, I made a deal with this entity. Uh, she's going to give me my my memories back, and I can't really do it in public. And I just wanted to tell you if I pass out or anything, or anything suspicious, it's because of that. And we should probably find a better place that is not in public to do it. Okay, uh, follow me. Uh, she begins to lead you guys elsewhere. Uh, the entity and Ada, you follow soon afterwards. You go into a storehouse, which appears to be a whole bunch of boxes, and inside each box seems to be, like, ration food, armaments, and things of that nature. Uh, she, like, closes the door behind her. Uh, Emily does. Uh, this is a warehouse I, uh, maintain, uh, for the people in town. Usually make sure that the rations are distributed properly, uh, throughout the city. Uh, which should give us our privacy, if needed. All right, this this will work on. Thank you, Emily. Of course, I'm here if you need me. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess I just gotta turn to an entity. I don't, I don't believe I've forgotten your name, have I? No. Do you have a name, or do you all have a name? We have many names. 
It's easier without one as we are bound by them. Two degree. She just stares at you. <laughs> okay, so you're not going to tell me your name. No. All right. Go ahead and give me my memories then. I, like I said, I don't know how this works. Simply and stretch out your I hand and I will place my palm upon yours. All right, Ava will reach out her hand towards the entity. Uh, you reach out your hand and then the entity reaches out towards your own. Uh, I think she did actually give you a pseudonym or like some type of name to call her, but it wasn't her true name. You knew that for sure. But it was such a long time ago, who remembers? Uh, palm on palm, you begin to feel a strange sensation of... It's not warmth, but it is a vicious embrace of that tingling sensation whenever your arm or leg falls asleep because it's been pinned down by something and that begins to draw through you. Like, all around you and especially in your mind. That numbing sensation of whatever it is begins to draw out uh, what appears to be arconic chains from your mind into your very foundation of your soul and even further beyond that. Something is unlocked beyond not your own understanding. You very much know what's happening. But it is something that probably shouldn't be awakened since you chained them up for some reason. And it was probably for a good reason. They mentioned that this is the price. Uh, wrong kind of music. They mentioned that this is the price that you paid. But whether or not they were accepting pity or whether or not they were trying to help you. Well, they were trying to help you, but help you forget this type of emotion is one thing altogether. You remember the deal you made with these people. You remember the deal you made with the person that made contact with them to help you. And the deal was the memories of your first love. And that first love, well, was your former fiance. Is the one you chose. Going through the memories, going through your past, you remember up to the point when your parents introduced you to your fiance and uh by and by you began to court each other until he more or less invited you into the military uh to help out when assisting he more or less convinced your parents into the whole ordeal and situation uh making it seem as if it's a good idea that it will draw more clout into your family more people will understand listen and while well, your uh house would soar ever higher than normal your house isn't nobility, but it is nobility through funds, through money. And, well, people of that repute would want it to be higher and higher. So, of course, they agreed on it. This was something that you thought you wanted, but clearly it wasn't your own thoughts. It wasn't your desire. It was something, oh, my first love wanted. So, of course, I would listen to him because he clearly knows best for me. So you chose to agree with this. You came along during the training, and it was fun enough training. It's not as if you weren't prepared for it. And you were good, exceptional even, up to the point that you were in the same platoon. It's possible that your parents, you know, pulled some strings, or maybe they did. Uh, but all the while, you were together again. And you felt it like this was a sign that you were meant to be together forever. So anytime you saw something that was off, anytime you saw something that was different that you weren't expecting from him. You always threw it in as, oh, we were, we're in war or, oh, clearly he wants to make sure the harsh decisions in life. So at times when you had to help people or when you try to help people, he would pull you away into the front line saying that these people need your help more or uh, forget about them. They're already dead or it doesn't matter what happens now. We want to make sure that we survive. These small little things here and there always looking over them because, well, this man clearly knew what he wanted in life and he clearly keeps leading me to a better life. So, of course, I would listen to him. You went throughout your military service uh, fighting a war that isn't a war. It's a scrimmage of borders. It is something that 
uh, the Kingdom of Isle and Mist keep fighting over. Just torrential fighting throughout the eastern border. It is something that continues to happen to this day, but not so heavily as it did in the past. Thankfully. But during that time, you had people fighting, dying in front of you. All the while, your first love would contact you, uh, reaching out a hand, making sure that you wouldn't go away, you wouldn't say anything, or something of that nature. He would always, like, try to lead you towards a different path, or try to lead you towards the path they chose. Sometimes you would listen, sometimes you would get visions of Amara and what she would do, but all the while he would... <sighs> the best way I can say this is gaslight you into thinking that these thoughts are yours, that uh, this is what your old friend would probably want since uh, he knows you best, so he, obviously he would know what she would want. Or something along the lines of, I'm the one that's here, so obviously you should listen to me. It's definitely manipulative behavior, but since you were rather young, and you know this was the first person that you were with, it felt like you should listen to them, but all the while you always felt that discomfort, that odd sensation that this isn't right, but at the exact same time, you felt that if you didn't listen to them, the same thing would happen with Amara. They'd be gone, and you'd be alone again. So you listened to them. You continued along this path until you reached uh, the turning point in your life when the experiments began to happen. The other side began to create undead and things of those nature. So your side began to draw out things known as warforges, uh, creatures of automaton strength and valor, but no soul inside them. And, well, they needed that type of life. Rather than something immobile, they needed that type of correction. So they began to work with animals or uh, soon enough, their souls, to try to see if that would be bound enough and conscious enough that they would be able to move forwards. But they needed something else, something more, something stronger. And they wanted to see if they could replicate some type of humanoid soul into these automaton. Your significant other, who I keep saying it that way because I don't want to say his name. <laughs> Fair uh, enough. I won't, let you, I won't let you. I'm not... I'm not a torturous person. Yeah. Fine with that. <laughs> oh, went through the process of all this. Convinced you to join these experiments. Uh, so you brought in people, and at times when they went missing, you felt responsible for them. You felt like something was happening. And, well, he then convinced you to join these operations, and he would, of course, join as well. After all, he trusts these doctors. But along the while, when you were brought in to see what was happening, you were the one experimented on and he was nowhere to be seen because he deceived you and you began to realize that he deceived you you went unconscious during these rituals because you even though you weren't aware you made a deal you did in fact make a deal uh they spoke about some sort of pact that needs to be made and transfer of power needs to be used in this experiment and whether or not you agree to this process and you agreed because you thought it was an experimental process or not experimental, but a medical process, not realizing that the thing you signed wasn't a medical waiver. It was a deal with a devil. It was Bentar. And these doctors knew that with your past perception back then, it was still pretty high. And you realized some keynotes here and there that they were dealing with devil experiments using demon, devil, demonic souls, whatever it was. You didn't really know it at the time, but now you know it's devil. Uh, imbuing humans, humanoids with these devil spirits and then transferring that into either the machines or having the humanoid soul transferred into the machine. However, with yours, it was a little stronger than realized because you were a cleric, something of a life essence. The strongest one that the leader of them, the one they made contact with, the ones they made deals with, you were the one chosen to bear that fruit. However, because of that notion, it was a lot stronger than anticipated. And while well, yours went awry, you went out onto the battlefield, you killed a lot of people. Whether or not you were aware of it, Bentar did. Sorry, not Bentar. Uh, blanking on her name. <laughs> 
Glacia, right? Yeah. Wait, I don't know how it's spelled, but that character. <laughs> <laughs> I know who she is, but I can't say that or else it's straight up just telling you what that storyline is. But you know who it is. Uh, the princess. I'm just gonna call, even though it sounds weird, I'm just gonna call her the princess devil. Uh, the princess devil's hands killed so many people, and well, your mind wanted to shatter, wanted to break, because you didn't have full control of your body. You almost went comatose, and the people that experimented on you and your former betrothed thought of plans of how to get rid of you or how to deal with the situation at hand. If they killed the leader then they would have an army that would need a new leader. And, well, your betrothed decided to do it, uh, to potentially uh, become the new leader. Uh, bringing you out into the battlefield, instinctively, your mind... Your mind's darkness took over, that devil inside. And, well, she tried to swing into him before he could do anything, and all the while, he defended himself. That's all he could do. But your own instincts kicked in before you can actually deal a blow or a final blow rather you instinctively ran away not wanting to kill not wanting to be this thing's instrument you ran and soon enough someone did find you you tried to kill them you tried to defend yourself and all the while even in your own words you told them to run away to go away or else they could die you saw someone robed in blue garments. You saw someone whose face, even now, you can barely remember, but it is the face that you do know. You don't remember their name right now, but you do know them. They are uh, a rather tanned individual, or maybe that's their complexion, but it's definitely darker than Caucasian, but it's not dark enough that it would be anything else. Uh, best way I can describe the skin tone is... Uh, South Asian? Filipino skin tone, kind of? Oh, I, I was thinking Greek uh, olive. Yeah, that kind of skin tone. Greek olive. Yeah. Like, just a little bit darker than than uh, than Caucasian white, Scandinavian white, but a very beautiful tan. Yeah. Uh, okay, I see. This person bent down and simply stated, do you need help? And all the while, you began to still swing at them, but they somehow took a step back and back and back and back, always missing, but always at a poof or a glimpse. And eventually, your mind was strong enough to say yes. They then drove a gem into your very core being, into your soul, rather. And, well, in that instance, you felt conscious again. They then stated towards you, I'll bring you to a medical field. You don't have to worry about that. They will tell you that you need to go out there and experience a life because right now you are in a limbo state. Come find me when you're ready. Come find me when you've made a choice. And I will help you in this endeavor. But I am not going to lead your life because it is your life. So make it a proud one. Make it one you're proud to be in. You then lost consciousness. And then you remember the last thing you remembered before your memories were gone. You remember waking up in a medical tent. It wasn't the field that you were in. It was many, many years later. Because you were out in about many, many years in this state of mind. Roughly around five years. Gone all that time. Mentally, physically, many people thought you were dead. You woke up, and, well, the medical professionals knew who you were to a degree, or at least understood what was happening, or were told what was happening. They told you the story you already know, and so you began to adventure. You met a friend on the battlefield that was another military man. You began to follow them until you found other people around you. You found a cat man. You found a man with a crystal hand, and you began to follow them. You went along your journey until you met this demon thing that was perplexing to this crystal hand man. 
you found your own inner devil and you spoke with them. Again and again, you followed these paths, followed these plans, all the while not looking towards your own life, rather than the lives around you, not wanting to harbor memories of pain or lead your own, just listening to others, following that path, until it led you here, finding your memories, speaking with Emily, and gaining them back. There are things here and there that aren't fully clear, but you have all your memories back. You feel like they're not gone, and it feels like an entire ocean has hit your body all at once. And you feel an intense pain, not, not of pain, but one of heavy dread. Not really understanding your life up to this moment, not really understanding what has just happened. It is just a lot to take in. And it feels like a lot. It truly does. You aren't asleep and you aren't awakened suddenly. You just realize that everything was already there. And it is now awoken. And in these memories and in these thought patterns, you just realize that they're there now. And whatever emotional state you're in now, that's what Ada is feeling. It is, hmm. I wouldn't say she's completely destroyed, but Ada is mentally destroyed on the inside. If that makes sense. Yeah. Like, she's, she's aware of the mess of things she does. And now with her memory, she's kind of like, oh, what, what am I supposed to do now? How am I supposed to deal with all of this? I I mean, it definitely helped her fill in the holes that uh, didn't make sense for her. But it also didn't help her situation as much as it could. Yeah. The entity does state... "Mm, Many people experience this, and many of them shout anger, frustration, if they have magic, fireballs here and there. You took it better than most. That being the case, though, just because something was lost doesn't necessarily mean it had to be found again. Or it could help you in your current trials. Not all answers are as clear as day. And some need to be sifted through. We will give you your time. And in a few days, we will return to see what your ally had decided or what you decide we can always take these memories back at the cost of well taking them back you're not remembering again but it would help out your friend if that is what you desire we'll help them out to a degree their choices are still theirs to make for better or for worse And in the end, that is what life is. Choices. And having the forethought to think them through. Now then, if you would excuse us, Miss Emily, Miss Ada. She like bows and begins to slowly walk away. He's just gonna leave. As she opens the door, you begin to see time beginning to move faster and faster until it's normal. Uh, that same hustle and bustle happens as the doors open and then close once more. Emily, seeing this situation, doesn't really know what you went through. Doesn't ask because, you know, those are her own personal things. Uh, she just begins to walk over. Uh, takes... Uh, your hand slowly but assuredly and then uh, brings you in for a hug not really understanding what you're going through but understanding that you need one he's just gonna break down <laughs> yeah he's just gonna start crying he's gonna like start yeah she gives 
Yeah, she's go ahead. Not gonna, right, and she's not going to say anything. She's just going to break down crying. Yeah. Like, yeah. She doesn't ask. She just lets you feel your emotions. Tight together. She just lets you ball just as much as you need. Let you cry on her shoulder. With memories regained and, well, no death attained today. A life lost has now been brought together. But a loss for a loss. The loss of your n memories have now been returned. And unfortunately, that also brought pain. And brought further loss. And we'll see what your team does next time. As we end the session. For today.